PPR and Radio.net. Featured guest DJs. Show. Music News. The hottest DJs from around the world. Here's to Peter. Here's to Peter. Here's to Peter. He's a horse's ass. He is the meanest. Sucks on a horse's penis. Here's to Peter. He's a horse's ass. Yay! What's up? This is Levi from Miss May I, and you're listening to PPRN. Stay metal. PPRNRadio.net. I have forgotten what it feels like. I don't remember. It's true. Peekaboo. Andrew's back. Hey, wait, 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 wait. hey Andrew. Go ahead. Let's see if we can. Yeah. There you go. I'm talking. Thanks for having me back. You, you got a low voice. You got to talk it, talk. There you go. Trying. There Hello. you go. Lift it up a little bit. Yeah, you want to be flat. Ah, yeah, there you go. You want to be in that You got so spot. tall. Yeah. Yeah, no, my, I'm usually like short. Uh, you you grew. Chair. I grew a little bit. I've been doing like. Well, it's been a year for us. So. So we've seen a lot. Of, uh, you know, you were much thinner and li- about maybe three inches shorter last time we saw you. You seem to have bulked up a little bit too. <laughs> uh, that's probably a little that's bit called taller. jaundice. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's called drinking a lot. And fluids. <laughs> that's called retention fluid for he's almost dead. Mm. Embalming fluid, whatever. Bloating. Yes, lots of bloating going on. I'm a bomb. I'm going to go off one of these days. (laughs) Just don't do it here. (laughs) They won't let me on a plane anymore. (laughs) Yeah, is there a certain age where you can't go on planes no more? Because you you can't have a defibrillator up in the sky, right? Oh, they have them. They do? Yeah. That was one of the first places they put defibrillators. Is it? Yeah. You know, you go on these planes and all these stewardess and uh, flight crew people, they think they're the funniest things in the world. Yeah. And you can't you can't not laugh because they control your life for four hours. <laughs> you want peanuts? You laugh. Yeah, you want was, drinks? You laugh. I don't. I I didn't laugh. I don't either. <laughs> I, well, you gotta realize I spent uh, what sixty percent of my time traveling back when I was working in the corporate world, and I knew their entire script. So I'd be sitting there right in the front seat. Saying everything they were saying at the they same time know. they were saying it, and they would get pissed at me. So, what scared you more, taking off or landing? I didn't like landing. You didn't like landing. See, I hate taking yeah. off. Nobody likes landing. You got to get a lot more closer than that. No, but nobody likes landing. Or oh, her, but you were fine. She's not. Oh my god, now there you go. Oh. Perfect. See, if you can't hear you yourself, they can't hear you. To you a little more. I think those arms are intimidating. People just don't yeah. know. This is pull the top right here. Right here, pull, pull. There, there you oh, grab there it like it's go. a child. Yes. No. Oh, <laughs> yeah, don't grab it like it's a child. No, the way that you just gripped it was like a mother dog, like grabbing a puppy away from like uh, a cliff edge. You were like, grab it, right there. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> don't be sorry. <laughs> you don't gotta be sorry. We just don't want your. I, if I turn it up more, your voice will be distorted, and we don't want to. No, we don't want that at all. No. And you, when, you, when you, you both sing... seem nervous. <clears throat> What's going on? Oh, no, I'm fine. No, I'm just a quiet guy. Yeah. yeah. In general. I'm, he, he really I'm scared is about quiet, every... though. Like, He's quiet. Like, like awkwardly quiet. Awkward, <laughs> awkwardly quiet. <laughs> it's true. Like weird quiet? No. Um, no. No. Mm. Oh, now he's talking. So I'll, I, can, I can look at him now. Mm. How's Sometimes. it going? It's going. Yeah? It's going. It's going good? Yeah, pretty well. See, so you look keying up a little bit of uh, some R&B there earlier with your keyboard. Or was that oh, just really? buttons you were pressing? Oh no, no, that was that was one of my songs. That's, that's what that's she does. Yeah. It's, she are you does. are you wild? No. Not at all. No. Unfortunately, not. This is gonna be awkward. I'm just chill. No. I probably <laughs> will be. I'm cutting. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you you have a, some authority. Your boyfriend's sitting in the car waiting for you. He's just he was really slow. He's slow, like autism slow. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> just like. 
he like <laughs> doesn't walk very fast. He's just like a just. He can come up here. We just couldn't during the intro. We can't have noise, so he can come up here now if he's listening, or he doesn't know how to Is work a, a phone. He probably doesn't know. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> he, you're in a room full of dudes. He's listening. Is yeah. he? He could be. I would be. <laughs> I would be. Would too. you? Yeah, I think so. Well, wouldn't you want to know? Well, what I mean, if she saw the dude, if he saw the dudes that walked into this room, he'd be like, "Oh, I'm fine." Yeah. It's like Bob, a 12 year old, and Pete, and you, but you guys know each other, so yeah, we you know. we we know each other. So it's, very long time. Do you get along better with Matt than you do with your boyfriend? Sometimes, because. Okay, well, here's here's something that's weird. <laughs> Matt's like, shut up. He can hit me. Okay. Matt and I used to date in high school. Uh-uh. Oh. Yeah. Shut mm-hmm. up. And he's no cool joke. with that? Yeah. We, we were really better off as friends. Would you have, like, a big fight or something? No. Then why? why I don't understand that. If you're we still just, like, we weren't feeling it. We are just like, eh. It's not working. Really? We'll keep yeah. the music, but mm. <laughs> really, yeah. Was it the ba- was the sex bad or something? Was that no, no, we never had we any. Never had That's it. why. Oh, I, was, I was I was not good for you. I was just good like, use. you know what? I'm going to wait. You're a celery stick. Are you still waiting? No comment. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> She's a celibate. Are you celibate? Is that what a celery stick is? Maybe, maybe <laughs> not. <laughs> You'll never know. <laughs> That's for her to know and us to find out. Well, uh, maybe. <laughs> See, See, if she was, she'd be like, yes, hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> but that's how they try to hide it. We're like, no comment, though. No comment. No comment. Uh. Yeah, it's like when, uh, not to compare this to a graphic, horrible sexual situation, but when they're like, you know, Jerry Sanduxy, did you touch those kids? And he's like, no comments. Like, well, just go ahead, just go ahead, and say no, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you didn't do it, he did do it though. Yeah, yeah. no, he's horrible. most likely. He did do it. And now they think his son did too. Really? Yeah. Well, it's it's, it's an inherited gene. Hmm. Is it an inherited gene, or is I it that so. he probably just molested his son, and that's or, how most predators are created? Is yeah, being that is true. Themselves. He is a victim. Yeah. Of, he is he a character. Probably yeah, a he victim. probably a, yeah. Too, yeah. He like might have been the first. Mariska Hackaday, whatever. Oh, God. That girl from SVU, she was a victim. Of her. her actually, her real parents were his. Her real dad was a rapist that raped her mom. So that's wow. what she and, plays and, in and SVU. The show, right? yeah. No, in real life. Oh, really? It, it, yeah. Life too. I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. That's why they. That's why it didn't get dr- brought into the show until like three years in oh, the third year. Oh, yeah. Because. That was something that she shared, mm. but they built, they wrote it into the storyline because oh, wow. it worked so well. Wow. And you, you get a feel for why she's so, she comes across so passionate. Mm-hmm. Well, it's not acting. <laughs> it's real. That's insane. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Hey, girl. Hi, Hi boo. Are you, are you here? I am here, yes. Who okay, good. That's boo. Oh, it's one of our hosts from, he used to be on a long time ago when he came back. You'll see in a second. Oh. He's, He's in Oklahoma. Oklahoma City. In the Flatlands. Flatlands. <laughs> flat. Like. Flat. Flat. Fat. Flat. Fat. Okay. Fat. If you say so. <laughs> he doesn't sound fat. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> You'll see him in a second. He's got a fat cock. Nice. Yes. Everything goes. He's a tarot card reader. Oh, He's okay. a what? Uh, tarot card reader. Why, you really? want your cards read? No. Oh. Oh. Definitely not. Okay. Because uh, so definitely is not. Iris is one too. I am terrified to know oh. like what is in store. He's not going to tell you anything bad though. If he tells you live your life to the fullest, you know you're dying. Uh, right. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> That's what he says to well, me. I'm, all I'm, the time. I'm glad we got that out of the way. <laughs> okay. Well, you want yes. us to be real here, right? Yes, definitely. Okay. okay. That's what he says to me all the time. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> live your life to the fullest. So. That's, boo. A, that's a little Mine unfortunate. Well. well, yeah, but I'm 70, so. Might as well. You don't look like it. <laughs> What'd you well, say, Boo? I am. No, yeah, you look pretty good for 70. You, you do. Thank you. Thank you. But yeah. I am. Boo, did no, you, you say know what something? It is. It's I did. What'd you say? And he can dance, too. <laughs> Are you waiting for the camera? All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I know that um, the best that I or any other psychic can do for you is say, this is what the cards are telling you right now. This is what you, the way your life is heading right now. If you change directions at any time, you immediately change the cards. Exactly. And so it's not like 
the future is fixed. The future is always changing. The future is always in flux. What I can tell you is, based on the cards, this is where you're heading right now, but you have the free will to change directions at any time that you want to. So there's really nothing to be afraid of because really you're in control of your own destiny. Okay. Well, thank you for clearing that up. Yeah. You're welcome. That was like a Pantene commercial. It was. Right. I liked it. It cleared that up nicely. <laughs> That's a Clarisil commercial. But what's going on with your video? It's, it's not on yet. Did you forget to turn the uh, camera on? Are you, are, you, are you sharing your screen yet? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll turn it back on. Hang on. Is it in our cards to see you? There it is. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Can you and see? you did that without re re without reading any cards. Can you see them yet? <clears throat> um, I'm I'm downloading everything right now. Oh, okay. Right. 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 Right now? Yeah. yeah, you're on his camera right now. Where's the camera? That's uh, what's that? Where is this pointing to? Right oh, look at that! Wow, I was about to get. Uh, you look at too. that high tech fucking tape tape. <laughs> tape, tape job. Wow, <laughs> it works. I don't give a shit. Yeah. You can see it, right? Yeah. No, yeah, it's a good, uh, good angle. Well, it's no, great. he's waiting he's for his. Passion. He's downloading his his extensions or something. Whatever. He got he got extensions in this hair. Are we dead? No. Yeah, no. we have to do this every week, and I I'm not quite sure why. I guess it's just the program. It. I, I wish it was faster than this, but it's just not. I hear that every week. I'll be up in a minute. <laughs> Uh, I'll be up in a minute, or it's faster every week. <laughs> no, that's Peter. I hear that every week. <laughs> <That's Peter. laughs> Yo, know, yesterday, Boo, you weren't coming in very clear, so I got to make sure that you are today. It wasn't very loud, okay. so let me see. Oh, her boyfriend's Hello. here! Hey, hey, hey! Here. His name is Tyler. Hi, Hi Tyler. Tyler. Hi, Tyler. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Uh, there we go. You want a cookie? Oh, hold the fuck up. Can this is... Out? Hey, Boo, you were wrong again. We got approved. Great. Oh. Uh, I can't hear you. Oh, wait, I can't hear you. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What do you mean we got to call Ricky to see if she answers. Hang on. But I got to see... Oh. <laughs> I got to see if this comes in good. So hang on, Boo. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, wait. All right, Boo, talk. <laughs> well, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. We can no, hear I you. I can hear him on here. Oh, oh. I'm okay. on the way. Yeah. Okay. Why yeah. are you? Why is it? Are you? Bob's listening? laughing. Oh. Oh, you're listening okay. to the radio, the the phone right? Yeah, now. you're. He's okay. listening to the viewers stream, and uh, trying to see if Boo is coming in loud and clear. Okay, so can you hear it then? All uh, right, yeah, he's he's very low, so I gotta, right. I gotta say, I gotta say. By the way, I'm all right, hang on. And loud and clear. About it. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> it was weird because I was trying to see. It can, you can hear. You can. Uh, Jesus How Christ! How come we can hear him so well on our? You can earphones. hear him here. Yeah. But for some reason we can't hear him under a uh, thing. So I gotta uh, check out the volumes here and hang on. So uh, let's call Ricky and see what she's saying. What's her number? I don't know. You know what's fucked up? You don't even know. Oh, hold on. We'll get you settled. I hope that's her number. You want this up here? And you talk Great radio. This Isn't it right? I know. It's, <laughs> it's riveting. Okay. Hello? What are you doing? Dead air, dead air, dead air. Huh? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm at the meeting. Oh, you're still at the meeting? Yeah, I just had to walk away. <laughs> uh, so, so uh, total approval? Am I live? Yeah. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> so total approval? Pre, well, pre-approval, official pre-approval. What, what does that mean? That means once you find a place and you've got enough money involved, you you. You can make an offer, and if it's accepted, you got the house. Mm -hmm. So we got the yeah. money. We just got to get the house. Now you got to find the house. Right. That, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Is he going to give you a letter? Uh, well, he's, he said he was calling Rick. So that's not a bad amount, him though. And, him and Rick will deal with that. Yeah, that's not a bad amount, though. That's, I mean, it's doable. Yeah. Then we just got to find something. Okay, well, then tomorrow we're looking. 
orange. How much? Like one thirty four. Ooh. That's four thousand more than we get. We're right, we'll gonna, we're we'll talk later. Price. We'll talk later. You're gonna make an you, you make an offer that's lower. Yeah, and the motherfucker's gonna go to one thirty fucking three ninety nine. <laughs> if it's over, <laughs> <laughs> All right. you can always just say, "Hey, look, they, when they make you the counter offer, if it's not in the range you want, you just say not interested." True. You know that. what? Mm-hmm. If they haven't, if they, if Bob just you told you you can say no. I can't go over this amount and okay. take it or they don't. No, you don't want to tell them that. Yeah. You don't want to tell them that. It's really not a high amount, but whatever. It's a house. Fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> you know what? One thirty is good enough well, for me. Well, you could shake the twins at them. You know, one thirty yeah. is a fucking is an affordable fucking uh, mortgage payment, right? No, twins. Yeah. Oh, that's all we got is one thirty, huh? Yeah. Oh, we're losers. Yeah. Well. well we're losers. <laughs> Congratulations, either way. That's right. Yeah, at least we're losers together. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's so sweet. <laughs> we make Sorry, you sick. All right, bye. I love you. We make you sick, love don't you. we, Iris? What was that? So we make you sick. Me and Mike, right? Yeah. yeah. We hate that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you and Mike should start fucking. Maybe we should. <laughs> That's what I'm Who saying. Knows? Right, Blue? What about Bob? Yeah, what about Maybe Bob? Maybe have a threesome. What Who do you knows? think, Blue? You think they should start <laughs> fucking or what? Not me. There's another Bob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally My heart couldn't good. take it. <laughs> <laughs> what? I think it would probably be good for Bob to have one last good fuck before he dies. Oh, Bob. <laughs> no, no, it's Bob. Oh, Creepy no. Bob is the one we're talking Bob. about. <laughs> we're, we're, we're inside of Bob's coffin. That was so sad. <laughs> Why? He's dying. Not yet. Yes, he's Whoa. dying. Yeah, yeah, but I'm having a, a ball sliding towards the casket. You gotta have a good time while he's alive. What good is it if he's dying and you can't have a good time with? Yeah, him? he's got one foot in the grave and the other one's tap dancing. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. And we're gonna be tap dancing Friday. Where? Where are we know. going Friday? We I have no yet? idea yet. All right. Oh, no, I've got the open, uh, I've got a show up in Naugata every okay. Friday. Where? I, hmm? hey. Victoria Inn. Oh. Victoria Inn. I've got, uh, by, uh, um, um, yeah. He's blowing you off, Iris. No, no, I can always come with him. Why Welcome not? to the conference. Welcome to the conferencing service. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> we are definitely trying to start shit. <laughs> oh, she's got stuff going on with other people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got a date with Bob on Are on you Saturday. serious? Are you going on a date? Yes, we are. Shut your mouth. Okay. You you talked them into it. You embarrassed them into was, it. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Boo, Boo, as much as I love you, as much as I love you, I was very, very glad you you were fucking wrong. <laughs> I, am, um, I am so glad I was wrong, and um, I'll tell people all the time. Well, you, you, I'm giving them not great news. I hope I'm wrong. Right. And I just and, and again, I just said a couple of minutes ago that this is the way things are panning out right now. Um, <coughs> it, it one move, one wrong right or wrong move shifts the cards and it changes that is true. the outcome. So. No. And Boo, isn't it, isn't it? Don't you get a better reading if they actually touch the cards? Yes, it's it's ideal if I'm face to face with the person. Right. Um, that way they can touch the cards and they can put the cards in order for me. Um, it's but I can do it over the phone or online of and course. stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, whatever. It's it's happening. So now we got to find a house. So that's you're not supposed to say anything when that happens, Peter. What do you mean? <laughs> I was I'm, listen. I got my paycheck this week. I'm glad he was wrong. Are you kidding me? I'm glad he was wrong. First time I'm glad he was wrong. I mean, I, I don't like him to be wrong. It's not good for business. But I, I'm glad he was wrong. Mm-hmm. Well, and for those of you that out there that are listening. Um, I'm the first to admit when I'm wrong, and that that sets me apart from a lot of the psychics out there. Is that I will always admit when I am wrong, and Boo. I hope when I. I'm not trying to interrupt yeah. you, but what where, what are you talking into right now? Is making it really clear. What I'm talking into right now—that you mean that? 
Yeah, yeah because when you move the forward. mic next to your mouth, we it actually reads on the board. So that's what's going on. I think it's your mic right there. Talk now. Okay. Is that better? Oh, my God. A lot that better. sounds perfect. Yeah, okay. it's a lot <laughs> better. So okay. We need to send them a microphone. Yeah, I was going to send them. Hey, listen, I'm going to send you a mic and a cord. And what happens is we have a little adapter that goes right into your laptop. Okay. Oh, that right there, the way you're talking right there, keep that in your mouth. I know you like that. <laughs> yeah, I like real thin, small things in my mouth. It's fantastic. Okay, so when, <laughs> when you're talking, like when you listen back to the podcast, you, you'll, you'll hear that you're faint. So now that you're doing that, you can actually hear it clearer now. So mm -hmm. you don't have to hold it the whole time, just when you talk up to your mouth, right? Okay. And then we'll send you a mic with a little adapter. You plug into the... Um, your laptop USB, and then the mic goes right into this adapter, and if you know, we'll send you a stand with it, and then you can just use that instead of your uh, headphones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or you Perfect. can still use your headphones to listen, but you know. So, all right, we'll get them hooked up. Right. <laughs> See, isn't it better when he's talking into Absolutely. the mic? Yeah. Ricky <laughs> said that. Ricky's like, I don't think he talks no. into the mic, so that's the problem. So, all right, cool. Yeah, because now you're now you're now you're getting picked up on the on the uh, meter bars, and that's what that's what we need. So, all right, good. Oh, yeah. Put, wait, let me put my cock near the speaker. Hang on. Do it again. <laughs> uh, dude, I'm so psyched, man. I, I, enough about me. Oh, that, that, I'm so psyched about the house. He gave though. a reading to you. Okay. And Ricky's the one that got the approval on the mortgage. That's right? true, too. So he was so, kind of right. Right. You didn't get an approval on the mortgage. Well, I didn't law-wise. Law law wise. Legally. Yeah, because if well, she leaves my ass, I take half. Is your name on the... Uh, no. Application, but if we get divorced, I still get half. It's called common, you know, <laughs> <laughs> right, boo? That depends on whether her name's on on the mortgage or both your names. Who are else on is going to be the mortgage if it's in her name? <laughs> <laughs> boo, boo, and Ricky. None the, she, Ricky could just have her name. That's fine. The house could be in her. But name. we're still married, so she's got to give up half anyway. So. Uh, <laughs> no. If you want, you want to make it. Did you hear the price we got approved for? She can keep it. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> what are you going to get for that price get, in West Haven? You, you could get something on a short sale. True that too. Okay, so I don't see. I don't want to do a foreclosure or short sale because those people that have done that, if they couldn't pay their mortgage, what makes you think they took care of the house? That's true. Right? Yeah. Ricky's like, but we should get a foreclosure. Have, that, that's what you have an inspection for. Yeah. Okay? Oh. The inspector goes in there and he tells you whether the bones of the house are good. If the bones are good... Then it's just a matter of just a little bit of self, self maintenance at the on the house. I thought you were gonna say self mutilating. No, maintenance, maintenance. Mm -hmm. I I I know every, I I can do electrical. My best man is a plumber. Yeah. So Mike is Mike is Mike man, can do anything. Mike can do yeah, many of anything. <laughs> so you're all set then. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not worried about it. It's having the money. Plus to do you it. got a deal. I got the deal with uh, WeatherTight. Yeah. So. And uh, he hasn't sent me a commercial yet. Uh, now I we just got to go to Home Depot and get a fucking uh, uh, credit card. Uh, no, on. you don't. Yeah, we do. No, you don't. Come on. It's almost 30%. Uh, give us 10 grand. We'll, we'll work it's around. It's almost 30%. Your are impressive. You like that? Yeah. You smell penis? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. So no. Well, we got to get some kind of credit going because I'm going to want a new floor. and You know me. I'm a little girl. Yeah, that's true. I want the curtains done. I don't want to move into a house where the blinds are melted from the sun. <laughs> you ever see those houses? You feel no. bad for those people. You want to stop by and buy them new well, ones. They've had them up for so long. <laughs> yeah, and they're melted. You see those? That's really sad. I've never seen that. And they're $5 for the, for, for the longest one. And it's like, why are you still wearing uh, melted blinds? Ooh. I'm so. very confused. What kind of material? Are they chocolate? Like No, they're vinyl. Cheese? They're like a vinyl, but because... A thin this, vinyl. What they do is they keep the windows, the the, the, the blinds sh shut all summer, mm -hmm. that they melt because they don't move. Like, they don't huh. circulate them or they don't open a window. So the wind, the sun beats the, on them all, especially they, the black ones. Yeah. Yeah, they beat on them all day, and then they actually literally melt. You oh, wait, seen huh. oh, okay. You yes, talk about can. the black blind. Black blind. Oh wait, no, is he talking? No, we can't hear you. Uh, boo, we can't hear you. No, we can't. No, something. No, wrong. we can't hear you. <laughs> What'd you do? He's still talking. <laughs> He's a, um, we can't hear you. Want to hang up and then come back? Okay. 
I'll hang up and then start it all over again. Start your computer over. His eyes are only so okay. open. Hold on a second. Let's see if. Hang on a second. There's a guy I work with who's got those eyes where, like, they the lid just cuts off on the top half. And it's like, what's <laughs> what's going on there? Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. <laughs> yeah, it's not like he's all high right. all the time. While we're waiting for Boo, let's uh, uh, talk but to Emily here. Let's talk Emily. shit about Why Boo. Emily, wow. <laughs> I'm stuck on last night. I think it's Audrey. I got all excited about the thing now, Audrey. That's okay. I got all excited about the moving weight in a month for this fucking approval. I, I knew the guy was going to call on, on the show night. Fuck me all up. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the boyfriend? Yep. He is. Oh, wait, wait. Yep. Oh, there you go. And how long you? He's like, yep. <laughs> how long you been the boyfriend? Uh, it's almost two years now. Two years. My mm-hmm. goodness. Yep. Oh. Met her family. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. like, oh, oh, mom's, yeah. mom's mom's very involved. Oh, completely. Yes, yeah. completely. So what is she? I like? loved does, your mother. Does she tell you what <laughs> to wear? She's a sweetheart. Oh, thank you. <laughs> does her mom tell you what to wear and stuff? No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> is she no. all up in your business and stuff like that? No, no, no. no? no we're just we're, we're just very open. My How old are you guys? When you say open, I'm 22. This service is provided by freeconferencecall.com. You are the only participant in the conference. All right then. <laughs> Huh. <laughs> it's not like a porn movie, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so mom's open. Is mom listening tonight? Yes, yeah, she is. She is. Mm-hmm. How old is mom? <clears throat> she is forty-five. Oh, and so, the cutie. Oh my God. Yes, I love her. <laughs> love you, mom. Thank are, you for listening. You, uh, what, what are you? Uh, oh, white? What am I? I get that question all the time. We have to because you got the tight curls, like right. that. Right. No, I um am biracial, white and black. You're white and black. Mm-hmm. Okay. I That's had two daughters. You said what you said earlier about black men yeah. loving oh, women with blonde hair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were talking shit about that last night. <laughs> 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 because it's true. And there was a black guy right behind her. Oh, and, really? Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, I, can you turn around? I can. I, and it was weird. <laughs> you got to listen to it. It sounds weird. It's very weird. So mom is the white one or mom, yes. is, mom is the white one? Mm-hmm. Okay. Are they still married? No, my dad... Passed away when oh, I was two. Oh, sorry. But um, yeah, mom has a boyfriend now. Oh, mm. is he cute? He is. He he is definitely. Does he? Does he? Is he nice to you? Oh yeah. Is he nice to him? Yeah. Your boyfriend, not, yeah. not, not Andrew. <laughs> no, yeah. <he's laughs> What's your name? <laughs> he's a complete dude. Tyler. Yep. Tyler. Tyler, what's going yeah. on with the beard, man? What's going on? Right. I like it. You like it? Yeah. Does she? Yeah. yeah he's yeah, like Paul likes. Bunyan. Right? I get, oh, I get all sorts of names. Or Abraham Lincoln. Abe Lincoln. Ahmed. Jihad. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I've gotten that one. Yeah. TSA. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <A> fellow. <laughs> Unabomber. No. <laughs> so you like the beard? You like you like the beard? You yeah. See? Um. You know, like I I have asked him to trim it, but uh-huh. we're still. Oh, oh, what if he asked get... you to trim something? Would you be mad? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not necessarily there. <laughs> well, anywhere. <laughs> anywhere. You're nasty, Bob. Wow. He wouldn't. <laughs> he wouldn't. But you, no. Why do well, you want him to trim it? Because it looks gross? No. Oh. It just scratches my face. Like oh, it, yeah. But it, he could like, get a conditioner that makes it makes the beard sorry. hair softer. You should do that. Did you yep. grow it because you were bored or you just like it? I just like it. It, is like it. it looks good. Yeah, because yeah, this is me, too. I'm lazy. But this is like four months. Yeah, I got like. Is that really four months? Yeah. Wow. No, it's only like a month. <laughs> no, no, about a month. Oh, okay. But look at the where like where, <laughs> where it doesn't grow. Like that's weird. Yeah, you're like <laughs> the anti Hitler. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which is usually a good thing, but not facial hair wise. <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm opposite. I'm like. Ew. It took him so long to like connect his beard to his sideburns. So <laughs> oh, long, yeah. he would get so it's angry. Forever. It's because he's got curly hair. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Definitely. And yeah, I'm still working on connecting my beard to my sideburns, and it's hard because I only have one chin hair. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little weird. Do you get any pubes yet, Andrew? None. No. No. Nope. Got rid of them. <laughs> no, I just uh, I um, I do. I mean, it's I don't know what to say. But you shave. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he shaves. How old are you? Me? Yeah. Twenty one. Twenty one. Okay. You are. Yeah, I turned twenty one Monday. So wow. I got a little drunk, and then I just was like, "This is not." Oh, that's fun. right! Your well, birthday happy was this week. Related birthday. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what where'd you go? From. Uh, I literally did nothing. Really? Yeah, oh. I just went to a bar that I had a open mic at anyway, and I just some couple people bought me drinks, and I was like, "Woo!" Ooh. 
yeah, the, the, the thrill <laughs> of it's gone now, right? Because you're it of your age. Was it your first time drinking? No, not oh, at all. Okay. No, no. The thrill of it's Literally gone because drinking. you're of age, right? <laughs> the thrill of it is not necessarily gone because I still forget sometimes, like that I'm uh, 21. Over the last 38 hours, I've had to be like, oh yeah. I'm 21 I now. Can I can buy- just buy booze. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm about to make a bunch of underage friends. <laughs> 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 they need that shit. <laughs> there's, a, there's, there's a viaduct uh, in Bridgeport that you could go hang out at and make a lot of money. I don't like that you know that. <laughs> it's called a brothel. <laughs> oh, I know where to get all the kids that need adults <laughs> to buy them drinks. <laughs> I help out all the 12-year-olds. Well, that's where, when I was 14, that's where I used to go. <laughs> that oh. was a long time ago. The guy's still there, though. Well, somebody's there. What's it's, a viaduct? It's a glory hole. It's a, <laughs> is it? No, no. Uh, it's, the, it's the bridge the for a railroad track. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the viaduct. In where? Bridgeport. Holy shit, that sounds like a sketchy area. A viaduct in Bridgeport? Yeah. Which is basically just under a bridge in Bridgeport? Right near Ooh. the train station. And you guys from and Bridgeport? There's a package I don't want to on your city. Um, and there's a package store right on the corner. Uh, so you would just <laughs> so he hangs there. out there. That's very convenient. And people drive by, give them ten dollars, and then he comes. Then they come back a few minutes later and get their their, their six pack of beer. <laughs> it's called a pedophile meeting. <laughs> yeah, it's called PA instead of AA. <laughs> so he's, he's trying to set you up, Andrew. If you shoe, if you, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get there to the viaduct, and I'm gonna be like, "Oh, I'm looking on my maps. It doesn't say there's a package store in a five mile radius." And then just Bob's headlights turn on, a bear trap goes off on my leg, a dart comes into my neck. Uh, he brings you to build a bear to make you feel special. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the girls do the lift. Aww. What a considerate pedophile! <laughs> I know. Aww. All right, before this goes down, I want you to feel like, you know, you're okay, getting something, too. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew's here to uh, promote a, a show tomorrow, also. Oh. Yeah, there's a show tomorrow with uh, the Buttonwood Tree in Middletown, Connecticut at 8 p.m., $15. And it's going to be a good show. Emma Willman is a New York City comic. She's established there and in the Comedy Cellar, which is, like, the best club in the world. And So, yeah, if anybody listening wants to come to that, please do. And uh, if not, that's fine. Uh, and you're doing that with... Um, Paul Gregory. Paul Gregory. Yeah, good he man. He was supposed to be here tonight, but I guess he's got something. I think he's promoting elsewhere. I don't. Uh, I talked really? with him earlier. Yeah, he's really trying to push this show. I, I've had to buy seven tickets for my family and friends for like a week now, and I just keep saying, it's like, yeah, I'll do it tonight. And I just forget. I'm a retard. Is that you, boo? Yes, it is. Hey! hey. Oh, all right, all right. Uh, You're yeah, back. So. He's back. Hola, boo. Hola, boo. ¿Cómo está, papi? ¿Cómo estás, mi amor? Muy bien. Pipi in the mouth. Queso and chips. <laughs> Chili's on Thursday. Taco and Friday. What is, like, the most favorite restaurant Puerto Ricans visit? Um, In Bridgeport? No, in general. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Tito and Oliver is pretty it. good. There's a bar, but there's also food there. Um, like you guys don't like Olive Garden and all that fun stuff. Of course we do. Oh, okay. I mean, but when we go in, you know what they do to us? They sit us on the other side. Just because they're you know, supposed to. All the Puerto Rican people, yeah, all the black people. I get the same that. thing. I'm like, yes. why are you, why are you putting me at the bar? Really? I don't want to sit at the bar. Why am I sitting at the bar? They, they look at you like, okay, he wants to get drunk. Move it up more because I can't. There you go. <laughs> they, they look at you and ah, they same. say they want, you want to get drunk. Uh, that's what they think that we're us brown people. First of all, I'm brown because of the tanning booth. <laughs> A tanning booth? Can't fuck you hear, your can't head. Can't you hear my educational <laughs> lisp? I talk white. <laughs> Credit score is 530. <laughs> uh, I want to sit at a table. Uh, Maybe I should grow a beard. I, boo, wow, nice out. No, you know what you need to do is you need to call and make your reservation over the phone so they think you're white. And then when you get there, they're like, oh, are you representing Mr. Pinho? Oh, <laughs> Plus, my, that, my name ends in a no, so that's, a, that's, uh, that's Latin. That makes you Latin. <laughs> you ready, Bob? Let's say 815 already. Oh. Yay, we got approved for a house. Oh, sorry. Nice. Woo-hoo. That means Thank PPRN you might be in screen. your screen. Uh, I think I am, no? Nope. Nope. Hang on. 
good, but let's see if I can hear you. What color are you on? I'm on the uh, usual green one. Oh, wait. All the way up. Damn it. Now, last night it worked fine. Try it again, but I got... Go ahead. I got the headphones all the way up. Oh, wow. What'd you do? I didn't do anything. Because I can hear it now. The headphones, that's it. I didn't do anything. Audrey Campbell will sing for us. She'll take the keys and that's a plus. Bit of soul is what we got. She making room a steamy hot. Ooh. Andrew Manning is here tonight. His humor may keep things light. His topic can be come from left field. Pretty sure you won't need a shield. Here we go on PPRN. Humor and music, that's the blend. Peter Pinho, he is our host. He doesn't need a whipping post. He also is our engineer. For that he gets a great big cheer. We have a void when Ricky's gone. Her role is more than just a pawn. We'll miss the twins, but they'll be back. No need to have a heart attack. Here we go on PPRN. Humor, music, that's the blend. Mike's wit is arrogant, sometimes sly. One thing we know, he's not shy. Boo brings his view from OKC. He helped keep the show carefree. Boy, that got lost. <laughs> Iris is our newest member. She is a part of the female gender. Sometimes running <laughs> out <laughs> of the death pool. We think Uncle Bob is cool. Here we go on PPRN. Humor, music, that's the blend. Here we go on PPRN. Humor, music, that's the blend. Yay! <laughs> Wepa! All righty, so. Nice. All right, so, why don't we get a song from you already? Because okay. you seem like you're mad and stuff. Tell them why you're mad. Why? No, 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 no. Doesn't no. she? No. 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 Well, I am mad about something. Okay. What? what My happened? allergies, man. What's going on with it's your allergies? so bad. I'm sorry for it. So you. I hate allergies. I'm on medication all mm-hmm. day, every day. Here you go. Yep. Taking Allegra 24-hour. Allegra? No. Nasonex is fucking gold. Right? Get into it. Yeah. Because it right it's, uh, it's a lot more instant relief than like a pill. Because a pill takes a couple of days to get in your system. Mm-hmm. It's like if you... T- Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why I need glasses? Is that? Uh, yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> you got something in the eyes? <laughs> semen. <laughs> oh. He's got semen in his eyes. <laughs> That's weird. I switched over I thought- to the hotspot. Uh, the hotspot. Something happened to the hotspot, and I switched over to the phone and everything. Uh, anyways, it's technical. Okay. Right, go ahead. Yeah. Hmm. All right, go ahead. <laughs> what are you gonna play for? Okay, well, get, make sure that the piano and the guitar are set up. Yeah, I got her set up on. The, okay. She's already good with that. So. Okay, the volume too. Yeah, we yeah. tested that when you were when you were late. Oh, right. Oh, man, just, Is he plugged in? Because let's listen to his guitar. Let's, let's, 
There's another one. Play with your guitar, mister. <laughs> Matt, we're on the radio. Let's go. <laughs> you got a volume on that thing? That's mine. That's your, it's, not, it's not picking up. I don't know why. It yeah, it's all the way up. No one can stop me. I what did you the do up. the last time? I just turned yeah. up the headphones. But it... It's not picking up. I don't know. Yeah, it is. I hear it. The last time we put that mic really close to the guitar. So yeah, put that mic that. close to it. It's not picking up again. I don't know why. I don't know. Is he I plugged in? Fine, okay. Yeah, he's plugged in. Okay. Like what color is this cord? Green? Yeah. This is the one that I was on before. Yeah, but you can hear it, because, but we have it maxed. That's what I'm saying. It sounds bad. Uh, what mic? What do you mean it sounds bad? It sounds fine. Three. Most I soothing can't. soundtrack. That's better now, right? Yeah, okay. definitely better. All right, and what are you on? You're on the cord here, so go ahead. Okay. Let's see what we can. There you go. Good? Yep. Okay, so the first song I'm going to sing, um, it was actually my first single, I believe, on my... EP back in 2011 called Fly Away. Mm -hmm. And um, I wrote this about an ex boyfriend actually. And I performed. Wow. How does it make you guys feel? Are... Well, lucky for Matt, I haven't written a song about him. Okay. So we're good. <laughs> it's not Matt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not Matt. Um, <laughs> but what was funny about this song was um, I performed at the space. Oh, yeah. And my ex boyfriend at the time he sat mm. right there and I was like oh well here we go I'm just gonna Ooh. sing to you and this is what you did to me you know so uh, did he know it was about him oh yeah because Ooh. I just I was dead lock stare <laughs> just like anger at him so he knew so there was a lot of passion in that song. oh completely <laughs> completely so um this song is called fly away shoo shoo fly right Don't know why he picked me Just wanna hide, always tempted to flee Rain seems to bring me down, life is a skill Need to block that familiar sound, it's nothing but a nightmare He wasn't what he seemed to be Said to be free. Spread my wings and I'll be okay. Need to fly, 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 fly away. Don't know why he was a monster. Zach the Jekyll and Mr. Hyde can't run any farther. Only does just bring me down, doesn't even care. It's like he's wearing the crown, now how is that fair? He wasn't what he seemed to be, I just said to be free. Spread my wings and I'll be okay, need to fly, 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 fly away. Times of the essence, I don't need to be terrified. I won't need his presence, my hatred has died. Need some faith, and that's a little take. He wasn't what he seemed to be, I just said to be free. Spread my wings and I'll be okay. Need to fly, 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 fly away. He wasn't what he seemed to be. I just said to be free. Spread my wings and I'll be okay. Need to fly, 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 fly away, oh, fly away. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> he's watching what he seems to be or what he seems beautiful. Thank Yay. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well done. I'm starting to see Very some fr- familiar voices. Like they're all like starting to sound like in a certain pattern. Like yeah. the people that yeah that you're bringing in. They almost got the, almost like the same melody, right? No. No, actually. I can't uh, hear you. Emily was Emily was there a little bit more pop. She was a little bit more. No, no, no. I didn't say exactly too. alike. I said starting to sound like almost. A little bit familiar. Not bad. Mm-hmm. It's not bad at all. It's 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 it's, it's something almost like to uh, this kind of generation, like in the nineties when everybody oh, sounded talk- like rap rock, and <clears throat> you know oh, what yeah, I mean. Yeah. So it's right. almost sounding like a little. It's, a, it's like a generational thing. I'm, I I wanted to say melodic, it wasn't bad at all. Yeah. The, ma- the melodic. Yeah, because I said I hear a little oh. bit of her in Steph. Yeah. Uh, or Steph, okay. and I hear a little bit of her in uh, Emily last night, yeah. and I hear a little bit of. Um, What's that girl that we were supposed to bring to UConn before we got kicked off? She was here with her boyfriend that one time. Well, she's coming back. Right. Uh, she was wearing a dress made out of weed or something. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Lady Gaga? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, that was um, – it, that's, that's, that's a good thing, though. Yeah. It's definitely. like your generation is definitely – so you call it what, – what do you call it, though? I mean – Neo soul. Neo – oh, so you're back into the soul, like mm-hmm. funk days. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. Well, I, I normally sing jazz. A was your bit mom into funk still. or your dad? Was he into? Um, they were both into like R&B, any type of music. Did they really. roller skate? I don't, I'm honestly, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Well, they're my age, so they roller they skate. They could be. Yeah. Where are they from? Uh, Maryland. Oh, they did roller skate then. <laughs> they had to. Have. Probably. They had afros, right? Do you have pictures of them when they were younger? Yeah. You want to see? Do you my, guys my, have... my mom didn't have an afro. Your mom had big hair though. Yeah. Big hair. Not big, big hair, but it was big enough. Like hairspray, big hair. Just how big, how big was, was your hair? mother's hair? <laughs> your mom didn't have big hair. The huh? issues. <laughs> your mom had to have big hair. Do you get along with her mom? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. A lot? You just don't talk. No, I he, talk. Yeah, yeah he talking? doesn't. Are you, sh- are you nervous or something? No. Matt's nervous. I'm not I'm nervous. nervous. You're not nervous? Matt's not nervous. Matt hasn't said anything since he got Peter's here. I think Peter's nervous. Soaking, I'm not soaking, nervous. Soaking Man. Soaking are, you two, are, you two, are you two dating? That's my mom. Yes, I'm dating. I'm, I'm dating with her, yeah. Guy. I'm sorry. You know? Your mom looks familiar. What? <laughs> mm. Nice. You don't live anywhere near, like, Waterbury, right? No. No? Okay. No, we, we lived in Hamden, and then we just moved to New Haven. <laughs> oh, yes, I would know. Okay. I'm not famous or anything oh. so no no but she looks she's got the 80s face does she i don't know what that means i don't know what that means either <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah she mom. <laughs> your mom's pretty thank she's you beautiful. you're welcome she's pretty thanks you can say it you're gonna be your son-in-law one day yeah she's pretty <laughs> are you guys on who's iTunes? got music on who is that oh that's you oh, oh. your video's <laughs> playing not me mm-hmm. hey, do you get along with her mom too yeah. Yeah. Do you get along with the microphone or no? <laughs> no I'm shy. <laughs> ah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> and you he is so dating? red. I know I asked that question, but are you? I didn't get an answer. No. The, I'm just these two. Are, these two are dating, boo. Okay, that's what I yeah. thought. Yeah. yeah and then for. they used to date. Yeah, Matt and I used to date. You didn't get that. Who is right. dating now? Right. <laughs> the the, the, the this her. And him, or, or not me, <laughs> are okay. dating. She used to date Matt. That's the all the way in the, the back. The one who's playing the guitar. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like a little, a little, it's like a little weird b- love bazaar. Right. Bizarre triangle, whatever. Okay, because I can only see Bob, um, Matt, and the young lady that just got done singing. Audrey. Okay, Audrey. <laughs> Audrey. Audrey, nice to meet you. Nice to Steven. meet you. Is that okay. better? Can you see Andrew now? If he can yeah. see me, is that technically better? Yeah. <laughs> I think, I well, he I might don't disagree. know. It might scare him. So you, yeah. we got like three minutes before the break. So you, like soul, like the, do you go back to the days of soul, like where it started, like funk? I or is it soul or is it funk? Is it church gospel? Or what is it? No, um, it's kind of a mixture of R&B and jazz. R&B, yeah. Mary J, R&B, or before Mary J? Before. 
So R and B like uh, Luther Vandross R and B and Mi- Whispers, right? Mixed with Ella Fitzgerald, Billie Holiday. Oh, so mm-hmm. a little bit of New Orleans in mm-hmm. there. Oh, okay, you ever been down there? No, um, I was supposed to go for my birthday, but we're planning a trip there. What so. happened? Did you get into a fight with him? No, 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 <laughs> no. no. All right, all right. no. Be I, was, nice. I was supposed Something to go two years ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. but my family couldn't make it, so. Like my extended family. Uh, you only you don't want to plan a whole week there. No. First of all, no. Okay. No. What's the best time? Do you drink? I do. A lot. Yeah. Then don't plan a whole <laughs> week because you will, you'll you'll right. be, you'll get sick. Really? It's that much drinking. The first night we just came back from there not even a month ago. The first night we were there we got like sugar shock. Oh my gosh. Because well, you all drink the, all the sweet drinks. The, yeah. Well, what do you do on Bourbon Street? Come on. And then you drink beer. Someone told well I did too. I drank both. <laughs> and then I ran out of I ran out of casino money. So I had to just get drunk because I was withdrawing from the casino. So when's the, when's the best time to go? Anytime is a good time to go. The problem is is when when we were there someone told us don't go off Bourbon Street. So what did we do? Went we went off Bourbon yeah. Street. But I'll tell you what, it was the best time in the world because mm-hmm. what happened was we found a street and it's a world famous bar called uh, something cat. Um, we were walking to that, but when we were walking, there was like it, it looked like you know like a big gang fight you see on videos now. Mm-hmm. But it was just a bunch of school kids with horns <laughs> and drums playing. Oh wow! And it was just it was nice. I have videos um, of it, but it, it was just on a Monday night. It was just people dancing That's on the awesome. street at nine o'clock on a Monday night. They didn't care if they had to work the next day because mm-hmm. that probably was their job, but right. they were panhandling. <laughs> but it was fun, and that was the most fun of New Orleans is getting to know the culture, not Bourbon Street. Right. Bourbon Street's great. Well, that, but that Bourbon Street is a tourist trap. Well, right. I'm, I'm a history buff, so I really... But there's a lot of good bars on Bourbon Street mm-hmm. that have a lot of history because that's the French Quarter. Right. right. But if you walk into any bar, mm-hmm. they always have a band, Monday night. Well, that's awesome. Seven Tuesday nights a week. Seven that's nights awesome. a week. And, That's great. And, and even if you, like, we found one of, was one of my favorite. There was a dueling bar. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't busy at all. But it was still fun because they had the doors wide open and people were walking by, stopping oh. and having a drink. But the good thing about it is you can grab a drink and then walk to another bar with it. Oh. Yeah. So, and you can walk on the streets with your drink. Oh. And you can walk off of Bourbon Street with it and everything. The oh, cops wow. don't say anything unless you're being an idiot. Right. And then they say stuff, but it's it, it. You can go for more than a week if you can control your drinking. Like I can't. You can't. No, I, if I drink, it's it. I can't. It, it's till I'm drunk. Oh. I can't social. <laughs> I don't have a glass of wine with dinner, and all that stuff. No, I can't. No, no I'm, I'll admit I'm a drunk. That's all right. I don't care. It's, I'm accepting you. Oh, I, I hope so. Uh-huh. <laughs> they did. <laughs> New Orleans loved them. <laughs> yeah, they loved our wallet. We went through a hundred bucks in like three, uh, three oh hours. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> Easy. Easy. Wow. That was the first hour. Oh my god! <laughs> and that was full of beer. And this was the frozen drinks. And then up there was more drinks. And then those skulls were thirty three dollars. And then that big tall one over there. They have a lot of the. Um, Stores that uh, do daiquiris, and it's a whole, oh. it's a whole storefront with just daiquiri machines. There's really? like, yeah, there's no storeroom or nothing. Wait, just... so like the machine is it like a Slurpee machine? Yeah, basically. Ooh, yeah, that's yeah, cool. Yeah. That's cool. But those are twelve dollars a piece. Okay. But you drink three of those, and you're, you're done. Yeah, you're, you get diabetes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you, you do. You that's not a good di- idea. No, 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 no. that's not a good idea. No. Just stick oh, to one. Have one, like, and then oh. And then these are Jello shots. What? Yeah. They're in syringes. Yeah, they they fill it with Jello, and that's Jello. Uh, that's cool. Okay. That's four dollars. <laughs> in case you're weaning yourself off smack, <laughs> yeah. you can just load up a Jello yeah, shot. Yeah, Jello <laughs> shot. Fake it. Yeah. yeah. That, that's the Jello shot, boo. Or if you want to inject something into. Yeah. You know. So it's a good time. Okay. And, well, we went on a cruise, so we were like. Oh, you did. We were on punish. We punished our body for a wow. week. So we went to New Orleans for two days, and then we went on a cruise for four, and then and where, decided where, to where stay did the another day. Go Cozumel. Oh wow! And then we start, decided to stay another night after we got off the cruise in New Orleans. And, That's awesome. Yeah. That's sick. We actually ended up meeting up with somebody from Connecticut down there. Oh really? Dinner, yeah. 
So, <laughs> One yeah. of the guys from, uh, what was it? Uh, he used to be a Seahorse. Mystic Seahorse? Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. Oh, the lead guitars. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to take a little break and come back with some more, and uh, we'll talk to you in a minute. Hey, guys. Hey guys Peter from PPRN. Looking for something to do in Nagatuck? Check out D-Man's Bar and Restaurant. It's a local hub offering delicious gourmet burgers, wings, wraps, steaks, and more. Stop by and enjoy their casual atmosphere sitting in the bar, the lounge, or dining room. Or kick back on the patio. D-Man's is located at 1370 New Haven Road in Nagatuck. 1370 New Haven Road in Nagatuck. D-Man's is going to be broadcasting live at PPRN Radio Show on Wednesday, July 20th. Go down and check out the PPRN Radio Show broadcasting live from D-Man's in Nagatuck, 1370 New Haven Road, Nagatuck, Connecticut. That's 1370 New Haven Road. Go check out their patio, their bar, and their lounge. They have great food, too. Also, don't forget to check out D-Man's throughout the week for drink specials and local Town. Once again, check out D-Man's 1370 New Haven Road, Nagasaki, Connecticut. Tell them PPRN sent you. What's up? This is Levi from Miss May I, and you're listening to PPRN. Stay metal. J&M Automotive in Nargis, Connecticut has been in business for 28 years. They stock over 450 quality pre-owned cars. They have the highest quality cars with haggle-free price. Complete financing for all credit scores. They take all traders. They are rated with the Better Business Bureau AAA. They were voted CTI ADA Quality Dealer of the Year. Visit JNMAutomotive.com for cars, picks, videos, and descriptions. JNMAutomotive.com. They're located in Nargis on 756 and 820 New Haven Road with over 250 cars in the lot. Call them at 203-723-5 That's 203-723-5666. Also, go check them out on New Haven Road and check out their website, jnmautomotive.com. And tell them PPRN sent you. Hi there, and if you need any kind of work done to your car, you can try DeSilva's Auto Body, located in Naugatuck at 275 Rubber Avenue. Serving the Naugatuck Valley community with the highest quality of craftsmanship for 25 years, we pride ourselves in delivering on our promise of extraordinary customer service and product satisfaction. We have recently expanded our business with in-house experts in the industry gold standard equipment. So once again, give us a call at DeSilva's Auto Body, 203-729-5967. That's 203-729-5967, located in Naugatuck. Took on rubber avenue. Once again, the Silva's Auto Body 203 729 5967. better sounded, but you won't get that sound at Hat City Music Productions, located at 536 Federal Road in Brookfield. CEO Chris Litwin takes your music to the next level. If you're tired of those basement recordings, those people that you pay too much money for and have you get out within a half hour, well, you won't have that problem. Hat City Music Productions, once again located at 536 Federal Road in Brookfield. Go check out Hat City Music Productions. You won't be disappointed. Tell them PBRN sent you. Ah, oh, fuck! Ah, oh, fuck! Hey, this is Wayne Sweeney from Saliva. You're listening to the PPRN Network.
Are you sure? Bullicious. Oh, it's feeding time. <laughs> feeding time. Eight forty-five. Boo goes to eat. No, it's seven forty-five there, isn't it? Yeah, Boo? it is seven forty-five there. Yes. Hey, yeah. look, it's eight forty-five somewhere. Uh, okay. Well, <laughs> All right. If you're just tuning in, uh, we have Audrey. Elaine Campbell, right? Yeah, oh my god. You say the whole thing like that? Well, no, that that's my personal page. But my stage name is just without the Elaine, so Audrey Campbell. If you You're like Claire Huxtable cute. No, what's the daughter's oh, name? Oh, thanks. What was the daughter's name? Rudy Huxtable. Thank Rudy, you. right? Yep, yeah. 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 She's so innocent, right? She's probably <laughs> wild, right? <laughs> She's wild. You're so annoying. <laughs> She's wild, wild. A little inhibited uh, yeah. to tell you the like truth. Like she, she eats Doritos at night in bed. I'm like, I'm wild. like psycho. What yeah. kind of life are you living? Where you're, <laughs> you're like, <laughs> are you wild, like adventurous? Like, do you watch TV? <laughs> um, Forty-seven, man. <laughs> I thought that was me talking for a second. I was like, are you wild? Like, um, I don't know, eat a can of Pringles between your legs while you're driving wild? <laughs> yeah, do you? No. 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 Do you stop and eat chicken like at those stores in Bridgeport and stuff? No. In the corner of the That area? is wild. I've, I've never, wild. I've never had that. Why is that You never wild? had the crispy chicken? No. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you guess you, normal for your people. For my people, what your does that people, mean? Because your people eat those <laughs> things under the red lights in the window. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. Where there's chickens hanging on upside down and stuff, right? <laughs> Puerto Ricans, though. <laughs> yes, we do. They do, right? Empanadas everywhere. They're not even Mexican. <laughs> Why do they're sp- not empanadas? They're pastelillos. Oh, same thing. <laughs> what is same a pastelillo? Principle. Pastelillo is like a pastry uh, with dough on the outside and beef on the inside. Yeah, it's an American so, fucking it's empanada. A ground beef. <laughs> yeah, reminds me of a Jamaican beef patty. That yeah, it's pancakes. exactly what yes. it is. I no, love it's not a exactly good beef patty. No, no, it's not. That. It's not as spicy. <laughs> no, I, spicy. I like the Mexican one. I never really had the Puerto Rican one yet, so I well, can't. I can't. I'm judge. gonna make sure you have some. I'm okay, gonna good. make them myself. Okay. Uh, and okay. we Puerto Good. Ricans do not like to be told that we're Mexican. I know. Right? Correction. I know. I Nobody know. likes to be told they're Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> oh Except next week. <laughs> next week on the show, we're going to have a wall in the studio. And if you climb over it, you get a free drink. <laughs> <laughs> we, should, we should bring a wall to the, uh, to the beach when we broadcast. I guess. Oh, um, we just put the permits in. Hopefully June 10th will be at Bearsley, or for Seaside first, right? We're going to be on June 10th at Seaside and on the 24th at Bearsley Park. Bearsley. So look for us, BPRN, that yeah, BPRN we're, radio that night. Yes. We're gonna, <laughs> yeah, we're going to be broadcasting mixtapes Saturday. Their life. Yep. Don't forget tomorrow, the format changes Thank to uh, grunge, and uh, it's Thursday, Friday. <laughs> <laughs> All that old 90s stuff, and then a Saturday at, morning is the whole... Yeah, right, look at Look him. at him. Shameless. What are, you, what are you eating? Hang Cheerios. on. Hold Cheerios. the nutrition facts in front of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Strawberry Cheerios. Mm. Like you give a shit. <laughs> 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 what do you have, like semen free cereal? What is that? Cheerios and then putting golden grams on top of that. There you go. <laughs> Dude. Oh. Golden grams. <laughs> A little bit, a little bit of a sugar fix there. <laughs> I don't remember what I did, but I I was eating something healthy-ish, like you know, Cheerio Oreos are probably some of the better cereal for you. But then I just put like 
a piece of apple pie in the cereal <laughs> and an ice cream Got scoop it. on top of that. Right. And I was like, this is just, this went awry. This is not healthy anymore. <laughs> Who cares? Look, you only live I'm once. Yeah, you only. I, I like when people say, I go to the buffet. <laughs> And like, if you go to the buffet, you can eat a salad. Who's gonna go to a buffet to no eat a one. salad? Dude, you might as well no go one. Out. Who goes to I Golden do. Corral and eats a salad? Nope. No one. Yeah, I no eat I a. Do. That's how I start my meals with a salad, so I can feel better about myself. And then I wash it down with fucking gravy and uh, pot roast and tacos <laughs> and pizza. <laughs> you hear that, Anna? Oh Don't my god! Me. I eat everything <laughs> and every fucking like. I, I call it a trough. Well, see, they <laughs> yeah. when Peter goes into Golden Corral, they lose money. Oh. <laughs> well, I have my soup. You gotta have soup. I yeah, have to soup. fill all of the excess space and air pockets in your stomach that you might have been, le- you know, because yeah. you're eating chicken and solids. You need to pack all the calories you can in, <laughs> yeah. right. mix it like a cement. We get our money's right. worth when we go to Golden Crow. I've never been to Golden Crow. Same. One just opened in Milford. Really? Yeah. Hmm? We used to drive to Springfield to eat. What? Yeah. Why would you drive that? Because why could, would you go to Springfield? Because I had a golden crow. Yeah, not Springfield. Is it that good? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> well, for Peter, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, when you 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 got to go at the right time too. Like on Saturday, uh-huh. if you go at like nine forty-five mm-hmm. in the morning. Yeah, in the morning you have breakfast, and they start to transition, transition over, to over to lunch, and then you stay for dinner. <laughs> if he could, <laughs> that's kind of pushing it, but yeah. But you don't know what it's like when you see a big thing of bacon. Okay, see, and I'm it's free, but well, I'm I'm picky with my bacon though. No, no, no. They cook it right. This I I like well, crispy bacon. Yeah, and it falls apart. Yes. Okay. Oh, perfect. No, no. See, I wouldn't be eating that bacon. No, no, no. They have, a, they have a trough that's <laughs> that's crispy, and they have one that's not crispy. Okay. okay. It's mushy like like you like it, like a rubber yeah. band. Why, yeah. Who would like it mushy? <laughs> Me. I don't like it mushy. I don't yeah, like it stringy. Like it? No, I need that, like, crunch. Like yeah. All the, all the way through. I want it to be like bacon bits. Right? I want to yeah. taste exactly. it. And I mean, I'm sorry. Overcooked bacon tastes like cardboard. Yeah, this guy. <laughs> let me tell you something. This guy would eat fucking meat off a cow. But it tastes like rubber. It tastes yeah. Like rubber. That's, called, yeah, that's called steak tatar. Yeah, that's called fucking bacteria in your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even his teeth. I know. Right. It's, it's I don't have to worry about that. My teeth are like stars. Yeah, he takes out them night. out, puts them through the dishwasher. It's fine. Oh, my gosh. I was uh, talking with this guy who worked at a hotel, and he says that, uh, I know your mom's listening, so I apologize, but certain instruments... Of pleasure that you might use if you're alone. Yeah. Uh, They'll find those in the hotel all the time. And uh, the first thing they do is they put them in the dishwasher. What? Because they're, that's what I said. I was like, that seems very counterintuitive to put it like, all right, put this near all the food dishes. But what, I mean, they can't have a dirty dildo. All hotels. Because they can't have like a dildo with stuff on it. And and Andrew, the problem is, is us as Americans, white people. We get skied by anything. Mexicans will pick anything up and clean it. Wow. I have a question about that. (laughs) Yeah, hit me. (laughs) Why wouldn't they just throw it away? Well, they have to. That's what I'm saying. They have to keep it. They have to hold it. For 90 days, they have to hold every single leftover item, no matter what it is. Who would go back? Who would go back for that? People do. Exactly. Who would go back for that? Who would? Well, if it was my favorite one, I would definitely go back. Like it's pink. It has a rabbit. Yes, they it's signed have, by but, Steven Tyler. But, but don't most most people travel <coughs> when they stay in hotels? That would mean that you would have to travel X amount of miles just to pick up a dildo when you could drive down the street to your. No, you could call them. Had adult bookstore and <laughs> bookstore. bookstore. You could <laughs> call them. What if they don't not, not understand bookstore. something? If if you know that you left it at the hotel, you can call the hotel. Tell, describe it, okay, and they'll pack it up and ship it to you, no charge. What if that dildo had special meaning, though, and I, I couldn't That's be what without I just it? Said. Like, if, what if it got me through a divorce? Yeah. <laughs> well, <Bend> over, <laughs> I didn't think about that. <laughs> <laughs> what if it got me through a divorce? I mean, there, go to your Well, that's why you call the hotel, you describe it. Store. <laughs> it's like throwing away a wife or a girlfriend, though, boo. Made out of rubber? 
Yeah. What, I mean, that, what if that was your first one? Like you were broke and you uh, you finally saved up and got one. It was there. It, it was, was there when you, you were poor, <laughs> so you know it's a true connection. I was with you when you did have money. It's a dildo exactly. mounted on a, you know. It's got holes in it from being so old. Oh, yeah. It's like the curtains. Just the sun has faded you, the dildo, and it's pale. <laughs> you you beat a would-be no robber with it? <laughs> you beat an assailant with it? You beat your ex-boyfriend with it? You beat Matt with it? <laughs> Did you hear me? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Dildo my victim. Gosh, uh, there are other dildos to have. Just go down to your friendly neighborhood adult bookstore and take your pick. You That's the dildo? problem. No one wants to work at relationships. They just want to throw it away and leave it behind. That's right. I was going to say, he's <laughs> consoling us. Well, am I? Wow. You don't I know mean, people's not, lives, right? You can't you judge don't. us. Hey, you're not my I'm real not dad. <laughs> I'm not judging, but I'm judging. That's yeah, you are. You read tarot cards. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dildos can be important. It's 2017. Every, guess, everything goes man. right, man. It's 2017. Every, we everything goes. Man. Yes, what? gay is okay. Trump. Dildos are even better. I like how the first thing you go for is, of course, okay. here's Peter defending it's dildos, right. and he won't even go into a store that sells them. No. <laughs> Why not? You won't go into a sex shop? We drove to the Love Boutique, which is yeah. around the corner from our house, got to the door, and I turned around. Why? I can't. Why? I can't. Why? I can't. <laughs> What's the holdup? I don't know. Is I know, it that there's I other was, people? I was that guy that couldn't buy condoms at the store either. Uh, <laughs> you had to make your I own? Remember you. No, I just never used them. <laughs> I just never, I didn't even, I was too afraid to even go to like Planned Parenthood where they had them in a fishbowl. <laughs> they were free, you know, they looked like candies. But I never bought condoms. I, 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 it's weird. I, I'm embarrassed. Sorry. You should have come to my neighborhood. They gave them out on Halloween. <laughs> They put razor blades in them, though. You got to watch out. <laughs> Where do you live? I'm just kidding. Because he said they look like candy Trust and the apple and the razor blade thing. He's on leave. Trust your correction. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Uh, well, boo. Go to any, any uh, your friendly neighborhood gay club. They, they hand them out like candy there, too. Or at least they used to. Right? Yeah, they but the, the problem is they give it to you with a cock on the other end of it. No. <laughs> yeah, what kind of a douchebag do you have to be to go in some place be like, hey, I'm here for the the sexual tools? And they're all like, oh, yeah, dude, come on in. We have them for free. Just take a handful and dip. That's not nice. It's like well, dip. No, they, they, it, it, it was much, I, I can only speak for Oklahoma City. No, no, I can speak for New York City, too. They would have... They would have condoms on the wall in a big bowl. Yeah, at the at the front door, and you could just come in, grab a handful, and hit the dance floor. Yeah, and they also had hemorrhoid cream too, <laughs> which, uh, by the way, is working a fucking magic on me. By the way. Oh, I nice. Good to hear. And the powder. I was worried. And the powder. Yeah. Yeah, he been, really good. He has been having a hemorrhoid problem for the past three weeks or so. I've been dry all day because I usually shave because of my weight. Yeah. And then leakage from being old mm. and a bad diet. Hey, I don't leak. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Just bodily fluid, not poop. <laughs> oh, oh my I don't gosh. leak. I just got fucking uh, <laughs> jaundice. There's a. I know this is. I'm trying to censor how I talk because of your mother, but I don't know if my there's a point. My mother's cool. All right. Her mother's uh, cool, obviously. My friend. Just keep saying 80s face. She's yeah, happy 80s with face. it. Yeah, 80s face. Yeah, your gorgeous mom, who's a supportive woman and probably amazing. Uh, she is, true. Will, and very cute. Not you, can, you, can, you can keep flattering her. Continue. Yeah, yeah. She's got, she got a boyfriend. Big though. hair, big, big hair. Um, Doesn't mean she's not cute. <laughs> She's very cute. Okay, obviously you didn't see a picture of no, her, I so I will show you. She doesn't have big hair. I'm telling you guys, she doesn't. Oh well, well anyway, now. this dude uh, that I know met a girl and dated a girl. Oh, nice. Right. Uh, which one is she? No. Uh, she's, <laughs> she's that one. Yeah. <laughs> she uh, she had no butthole. What? Who? Yeah. This wo- this girl had poop? such bad intestinal problems that they sued up her butthole. 
and made the tail end of her colon <laughs> loop all the way up to her hip where they had a little bag. Oh, that's and sad. she would do everything that, out of that so bag. <laughs> yeah, it is very sad because a butthole is like super fun. You fart out of it, you you know, light farts. She's like doing them right here. It's no fun. You think that they're fucking the human torso. Well, well, you I don't call it anal, what would you call it? Like baggy? No, you'd call it, um, <laughs> first of all, monstrosity because it's probably like some sort of Tony Stark hole <laughs> mixed with a septic tank because it's, it's, it's like a you It's... Purpose. It's a, colost- it's a colostomy bag. Yes. yes. Yeah, we know that. That's what it is. Yeah, but I'm talking about like the uh, the port. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't think that that you would. So what do you do? Do you shit there. sideways? Do you lay on your side? It just fills up in a little bag on. And she empties the bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah she yeah. changes it out. Oh my god! What if it happens like during a date or at night? Dude, that's what I'm thinking. You could just shit in a movie theater, <laughs> yeah. and no nobody. Know. Yeah, because it's like an airtight seal, hopefully. <laughs> you know. God, God help you. Can you, you hold it? Can you pinch it? <laughs> right? I don't know. Can you like? Maybe it just slowly leaks out. Uh. No, like, here's here's the question that I'm wondering: yeah, like how, here. like how do you fart? It comes out there. You, comes out there. you gotta like, open up the bag. <laughs> you gotta open up the bag. <laughs> what yeah, if she I just like? Actually, uh, I knew someone who had a colostomy bag, and yes, they opened it to release the gas. Wait, really? So how do you hotbox your partner? Is that like a fun gag for them? Is to just be like, hey, check it out. And just bah. <laughs> how do you hotbox somebody? I mean, I'm sure. But, I mean, that because the ga- the bag would fill up with gas. Oh. So in order to make more room in the bag, they would have to let the gas out. So. No, I feel and then so they bad, just though. sit there and say, it wasn't me. <laughs> yeah, they're they, first. They should have just, just chose a better diet. That's all. Some people can't help, though, if they're born that way. Though. Yeah, no, it was a real bad. She would have died, certainly. Wait, so was she born that way, or was it She was the born diet? with such intense problems oh, that they goodness. had to perform the surgery to move her uh, rectal exit wound to uh, the front area. <laughs> right. uh, I don't know why they chose right here, probably Do because it would be so- weird to, like... Right. Do you have any songs that like uh, <clears throat> about butts? Now. About butt? No, I don't. I could work <laughs> on that though. If you, you could, if you would yeah, like for the next to. time, right. yeah. yeah, for the next time. Yeah. Right. Can you do it? Can you do it on, like on, right now? I'm proud. Um. No. I mean, you don't have to. Yeah, go ahead. Probably. And do it. Yeah, go ahead. Do really? It. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um, you don't want to. Well, no, because I, I have starfish, uh, balloon knot. You don't have to use butthole like starfish, <laughs> balloon knot. Um, Why would you say starfish? Because that's what it looks like, a starfish. Pete's okay. got an interesting asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought, like, it's just a little... You ever see the bottom of a balloon knot? Oh, It looks like right. it. Right, see? Yeah. Mm. Uh, I mean, I've heard uh, cats, they have a specifically pronounced butt when they walk around. I've heard that be called a dirt star, and I think that's a pretty cool name. Chocolate hot dog water? Oh, God, oh, yeah. Wow. I'm learning so many The wink? I call it the wink. <laughs> oh, the James Bond symbol? <laughs> when it's closed, of course. Oh, right. The camera shutter. Oh, that's a good one. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. I just made that up, by the way. But it's just Isn't accurate. It? No, yeah. Isn't it? I don't know. Yeah. I might, it's accurate. It doesn't look like a camera shutter. All right. Let's, so how about a normal song? A normal song? Okay. Um, Unless you don't want to. No. no, no that's okay. what she's here that's for. Right. Exactly. What's <laughs> the band here for? <laughs> Um, to play guitar. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Just to sit and look pretty. That's what he's here for. Aww. Great job. <laughs> he's about to jump over the table. What would you say about him? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say about me the whole night. He would agree. He just... Yeah. You guys... I, all right, never mind. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> well, is it, is People it, from New Haven are just weird. I'm, but I'm not from New Haven. I know, I know. From, you're technically from Maryland. Yeah, I'm from the Gaithersburg area. Baltimore? No. Not at all. Is that nowhere, anywhere well, near Well, no, it, it, it's, it's near, but like. My favorite show know. is The Wire. Really? Yeah. I, I haven't seen that. I want to go to Baltimore so bad. Why? Because I want to see, like, the, the the Wire was a show about drug dealing and stuff. Okay, so well. So I want to see the bad neighborhoods. The one thing. really sucky thing about Maryland, it's so overcrowded, and the lights, you're si- at the traffic lights, you're sitting there for about, like, five minutes. Really? Yeah. Baltimore looks pretty cool, though. Okay. It looks like really crime. It's got ridden. some nice. It's got some nice. It's got the water light. Got, the it, water. Yeah. The, right. the, 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 they they did a lot of filming on the waterfront. Have you guys ever been to Maryland? No, I drove by it. Okay, if you need to go, you need to go get a bushel of blue crabs with old Bay seasoning. I got All crabs when I was eighteen. That's Woo! really unfortunate. <laughs> they were orange though, and they were oh. little. Oh, <laughs> did you get that taken care of? 
Yeah, actually, okay, I did. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> glad. Did you ever see those in person? No. They look like really crab. They look like they look like real crabs if you magnify Wait, them. Wait, really? Yes. That's kind of weird. Well, that's do. why they call them crabs. That's, yeah. that's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. Or, or you can, they got a see-through body, and you can see their little eyes. That's it. <gasps> that's really oh. disgusting. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> you should see when you put the shampoo in there, and they all fall off. Oh, oh my God. There's like a million of them. Are they kind of like lice? It is lice, but yeah. it's on your balls. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> lice is the eggs What were head. you doing when you were 18? That's awful. Dude, Fuck it. Dude, dude, everything. He was doing everything. Dude, dude crabs was big everyone. in the 80s. Are you kidding me? <laughs> crabs and well, Syphilis. You're talking about a sexually transmitted disease like it's a band. There is. The crabs. crabs was huge in the 80s, dude. I remember when I was 18, I saw crabs, dude. I was back in a they tiny were. rock club. But see, lice is the eggs. Crabs um, is the actual thing crawling. So, okay. So they don't, like... Reproduce. Lice is definitely still the crabs, but it's like you, they have more of the eggs, the larvae they, in them. They, they reproduce. Right. And then the crabs, the crabs are just fucking full-blown there. crabs. Yeah. Right. So lice but is the caterpillar. Downstairs. Crabs are the butterfly. <laughs> and you shave them, and they still don't go away. So you got to wash everything. How how long did you have that for? I didn't know that it just kept coming back. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so every time I would shave, they would come back. I'm like, where the hell are they coming from? Crabs, the reunion tour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were like Woodstock. <laughs> <laughs> Crabs got back together, dude. You heard? Wapu? You, you have to use the special kind of shampoo to get rid of them forever. Yeah, we use RID. <laughs> Raised RID. RID. <laughs> but if you shaved your balls, they still like hidden hairs. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that, well, no, if you don't use the shampoo, that, that particular shampoo, they're not going away. And if you were poor, you shaved one side of your balls and you lit the other half on fire, and then when they ran across, you stabbed them. <laughs> <laughs> that seems harsh. Yeah. That seems yeah. really harsh. It was very painful. Was painful. <laughs> we stabbed them with a pick. Oh. <laughs> a toothpick, right? A hair pick. Oh. Back oh. Day yeah, you, yeah, you get more than one at a time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. They have the stay yeah. black <laughs> fucking picks. Right. Uh, yeah, my brother, my brother has, yeah. has one of those. Yeah. Get eight at a time. <laughs> now, is it true? The I've more you know, the less you want to. Yeah. But, you know. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think th- I don't think millennials get crabs. I don't th- are they gone now? I haven't heard about them. No, 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 no. They're still out there. Still out there. Yeah. Bob's making sure of that. <laughs> well, I don't like how you say anything about young people. You're like, oh yeah, yeah, crabs. <laughs> They're still out there. They're out there. <laughs> yeah, crabarino. There's. Uh, is this wow. true about crabs though? I heard that um, sometimes when crabs are like present long enough. Uh, they actually grow into larger crabs, and that's where snow crab comes from. Is that true? <laughs> Is that like an? They call them tiny. It sounds silly now that I said it. <laughs> tiny Interesting. They call them crawfish in New Orleans if they don't <laughs> take care of them. Besides, who would want to eat snow crab if you knew that it came off of a dude's balls? You know what I'm saying? I mean, have again, you had snow crab? Again, again, like I said, you don't know people's lives. Right. Yeah. And don't right. judge me because I want to eat something off someone's Are you balls. Me with that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going to call you out on that. Just You're saying. telling me that you have no problem with No, I'm, oh my gosh, no, balls. not me. But I'm just saying, I know people who I'm pretty sure would do that. But again, you don't know. Who you dip them out with? You dip dip them in chocolate. He said you dick them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, 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 I don't hang out with them for a reason. I just they know them. Okay. They're just not. You support their right to eat ball crab, <laughs> but you don't do it yourself. <laughs> right. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Yeah, fist bump. <laughs> okay, I'm really short. So it's not gonna work. Okay. Yeah. How tall are you? Uh, I'm I'm like six feet tall, but when I sit down, I have the torso of okay, like so an eight year old. No, you can't even call yourself short. But look at where no. you're taller than me when we sit. I bet sit up straight. Because I'm sitting on a freaking stool. Yeah, but I'm short right now. Because you're sitting on a chair. There's a difference. Yeah, but you got short arms. I do. That's why he couldn't reach you. <laughs> right? That's my nickname. T Rex. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, let's get another song from you, you mind? Okay, no problem. Yeah. Okay, so this is another okay, original, and it's called Ceilings. Okay, bear with me for just a bit. No problem. So I can go live. And... Okay, I don't know how to work it. It's, a, it's an iPhone, right? Okay. Take it away, baby. All right. 
I should write, we're watching. All right. We're okay. watching. Okay. okay, I know how to work it. It's a thing, right? What? Okay. Take it away, baby. What? Is that you, Peter? That's her. That's, that's Emily live right now. That was Emily live. <laughs> Yeah, but oh, I mean, you were playing that on the computer. Yeah, on Facebook. Yeah, okay. yeah go ahead. You ready? My piano, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, it's my night. Get the fucking other thing off. No, I love supporting other artists. <laughs> I do. I really do. No, we don't. We can. Okay. <laughs> this isn't a fairy tale. This is reality. This love talk ain't for so with the parental committee. They said we're too young, we don't know when love is But these words rolling off my tongue And not for show face I'm tired of pretending that we don't care So many things I want to say Many things I want to Tired of hiding our true feelings There are forces colliding among love ceilings <laughs> I need you so I can live I need you so I can breathe I only have my heart to give But can't they believe Yes, we're still young, but we know love is true. These words rolling off my tongue. I love you. I love you. Oh, oh. I'm down to pretending that we don't care. So many things I want to say, many things I want to share. Tired of hiding our true feelings There are forces colliding among the ceilings Your love, I need so many tears I cry I promise I'll Tired of pretending that we don't care So many things I want to say Many things I want to share I'm tired of fighting Our true feelings There are forces colliding Among the Wow, look at the little voice that comes out of your body. She big, voice. big voice. Wow. Big voice. Yes. Not a little voice. <laughs> well, what do you think? <laughs> Ooh, good sign. Excuse me. Um, Audrey, do you watch the show um, Star? I do not. Okay. <laughs> um, it's, a, it, it's a Lee Daniels production. <coughs> I'm sorry. Excuse me. So Lee Daniels production, he does Empire. Um, anyway, the lead singer from the show Star, you sound a lot like her. Which oh. Is a, a which one, boo? Um, um, the, the blonde. Girl, actually. Yeah, the blonde. <laughs> the the blonde? blonde? Yeah. Yeah, the blonde. Yeah. What do you think about fucking Demi Moore's daughter being on there? I think she's an idiot. Demi, Demi and Bruce, Demi Moore and Bruce, uh, Willis's daughter. Yeah. She's oh. a, she's on there. She's a fucking idiot. Rumor is that her name? I think so. What? Like she I tries too that. hard. <laughs> mm -hmm. The black haired girl. She's new. She's a lesbian. She's sleeping with um, what's his name's uh, girlfriend. 
They were in a hot tub last week together. Oh, you're talking about Empire? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm a few weeks behind on that. Okay. I don't watch Empire. Bruce Willis is and Demi Moore's daughter's on there, and she's uh, uh she just can't act. I'm sorry. She can't. She can Demi sing Audrey, though. I. <clears throat> and she can dance. I think that you have. <laughs> a, it, it's no soul. Um. So. Sorry, I I definitely couldn't hear you there because I was breaking up. Compliment her again. <laughs> yeah, she was. She likes that. Oh, I was just. <clears throat> her leg is kicking. I was saying that. <laughs> You um you have a voice that's made for neo soul. Oh, thank you, thank you. That yeah, yeah. It's well, and that's that's how you classify yourself mm-hmm. too on the uh, exactly. on your Facebook page. Right. Yeah. All I know is that it's it's <laughs> great soul music. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Neo soul. I'm... Come on, who's doing that? It's me. I'm checking the video. Who's no, eating cookies? No, the crunching. That's, <laughs> gee, I wonder who's eating right now because nobody in the room is. I'm not eating shit right now. I finished. Oh, All right, then you're wrapping a present. <laughs> <laughs> He's putting the box. You can tell when Boo's right eating. He's not talking into the microphone. I'm putting the box away. See right there. Hmm? When he's eating, he's not talking into yes, the microphone. I am folding up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not eating at all. I'm just folding up the boxes and putting them away. Okay. See, much clearer when he's yeah. eating. Enough about me. Back to the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what inspires your music? I mean, what, what do you write about? Matt? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. There's like a lot of stories about Matt, like really quiet. And is he, do you fish, Matt? <clears throat> Some uh, Rarely. Where? Where do I fish? Yeah, like, like, is it in water or do you like put stuff in the bathtub and <laughs> water? <laughs> water. Wait, you know, like magnet fresh fish. Water. Fresh water. Fresh water. I lakes. Fish. I Where fish. do you fish? Um, my mom and I go out to Middle Bank. Middle Bank? Yeah. Where's that? On, Middle Town? On, on the on the boat. It's called Middle Bank. It's at it's Captain's Cove, I believe. Oh, Bridgeport. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And then Tyler and I, we go to Belgrade Lakes in Maine for the summer. So what do you catch out of Bridgeport? Um, Crabs, fluke. yeah, right. Fluke, fluke, fluke. Fla- what they used to call flounder, totog, <laughs> totog, totog, like blackfish. Oh, totog. How about cod? Did you catch any cod? Mm-mm. No, that not in Long Island Sound. Come Doesn't on. have cod. No. Oh, you no. got to go out to Cape it's Cod. Deep, no, no, that's a, it's a deep water fish. That's a deep water fish. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So flounder. what are we catching on Long Island Sound besides fucking diseases? Yeah, it's true. Flounder, blues, blues are good. Yeah. No. To yeah. eat. Yeah. Yeah. Out of the Long Island yeah. Sound. Yeah, yeah, dude. It's still an ocean. We catch a lot of sea robins, though. Yeah, yeah right. Aren't those things scary? Yeah. <laughs> they're annoying. What they're, is a sea robin? They look like gremlins. But they, but they mm. make. I don't know what a gremlin looks they like. They make like this noise. They hiss at you. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> what kind of and shape got... are they? What kind of animal is it? A squid? No, fish? I'm no it's, like, it's, it's a fish. But I'll they have like they have these like fins that look like wings. Hold on. I'll, I'll hold on. Hold on. Yeah. And they also have. Uh, Spikes or spraw. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, you can't touch them. You got to cut your line. <laughs> oh no, no, we had a, a mesh glove that we used to use. Mm. A steel mesh glove. Sea robin. Okay. Sea robin. Trigger. They're good. Though. Oh wow. What? They're good. Yeah. Those look. You eat those? Yeah. Shut you your can, mouth. You can, you you can, can eat, eat them. them. Yeah. Wow. Look, well, one of it right? underwater yeah. is beautiful. Which one Still is looking. it? This one? Oh no, its face is ugly. This one? That one. Yeah. <laughs> Click on it again. I gotta zoom in on this. A real ugly. That f- face, though. They hiss at you. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're really ugly. Look at them. Oh, it's Look tiny too. Look at that too. cute face. Oh. Yeah, but that thing will fucking rip your fingers apart with those fins. Really? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, the fins well, look sharp. So, so it's Sunny's. Sunny's? Yeah. So do catfish oh my too. God. Catfish with their barbs, they'll fucking rip your hands. Where apart are the too. barbs on a catfish? On the back. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, when you grab, when you catch them, you have to catch them, and put your hand like this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Same, and then same with b- before the barbs mm-hmm. come up, if the barbs come up, they'll rip like you'll see meat in your hand, like they'll rip like, into your bone. So I have, yeah. he knows this. I have a <laughs> um, strategy on how to get sunnies off the hook. Yeah, you just bang them on the side of the boat, <laughs> just like knock them out a little bit, That's and then you just fish. take yeah, them. Yeah, if they're hissing at you, fuck it. They don't hiss. Yeah. No, 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 no. Sunnies. Don't oh, hiss. sunnies don't hiss. Yeah, yeah. no. But Why do you need sunnies? Aren't they small? And no, you, you don't eat, eat them. them. Oh, yeah. I, I, I don't eat them. Oh you man, eat, I have you a bad story about sunnies. Yeah, sunnies. you can eat them. A sea robin. They're good. Really? Yeah, if you fry them up. What do they taste like? Cod. 
Do they really? Yeah. I mean, that that's the only thing that I can But there's think very of. little, very little it's very, edible meat. Right, exactly. It's, it's very little so, so edible you, meat. You, know, you have to know how to fillet them. Yeah. Why bother? I because, I don't know. I like to bring to a fish home. I like going on the boat and the guy goes, all right, drop your fucking line. <laughs> and then you pick it up and there's like three fish on it. I don't like working. You don't? No, I like going out for two hours, stopping. Mm. All right, all right, drop your line. <laughs> Well, that well, that's what Middle Bank does. We it's like we go at like eight o'clock and then don't come back until two o'clock. Right, you, you catch a lot of cod, right? And then you got to like divvy it up with the. It, it honestly depends on the day, because sometimes the water is just not good and you don't catch yeah. anything, which is really unfortunate. So. Well, of course, there's always beer. That's <laughs> true. That's also yeah. true. In Florida, we used to catch grouper, which is like cod. Yeah, which is I've really heard. Good. grouper's mm-hmm. good. Grouper and what's that other one? Haddock. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've, I, had, I've had that. I don't I like that. Catch, I used You've to catch sheep head. That what? Sheep head. Sheep yes. head. Yeah. <laughs> when I went down to Florida, my first time I went fishing, I was catching these fish left and right, and I was like, yes. It's like my first week when I moved there. I was like, they were come, like out of the water like crazy. Those were just Cubans. I cut yeah. <laughs> I, I cut the heads off. I flayed them and everything. <laughs> I found out you can't eat them. They're called ladyfish. Oh, yeah. Oh, they yeah. look like yeah. snakes. They're like, you can't eat that. Mm-hmm. I was like, well, they filleted well. Mm-hmm. But they're like, they look like they were long. But they were fun to catch, I tell you. Yeah, that's when you want to catch and release. Those are oily fish, I guess, right? Oily and bony? We caught, uh, we used to catch. Yeah. They uh, this have, was don't they have the... like a toxic I, yeah. Oil yeah. mercury yeah. in them? Yeah. Oh, they do? Yeah. yeah. Thank God I didn't eat them. Like a puffer <laughs> fish, almost. Almost. Right? Yeah. I guess so. A little bit. Uh, we used to catch uh, sea trout and sheephead. This was on the uh, on the rivers in uh, on the uh, west coast, and the sheephead were oh they were like black and white stripes, vertical. Looks like they were prisoners. <laughs> <laughs> Who would eat that? No. Oh, my uncle. My what? uncle's all into eating. My uncle eats exotic food. One time, I gotta tell you the story. He was eating, uh, he ordered sashimi. He was in Japan, and it was lobster sashimi, which means just uncooked. Right. And they're eating it. It's like de-shelled. It's just globs of meat, it looks like. And so they're picking at it, picking at it, picking at it. And all of a sudden, it starts crawling off the plate. And then oh. they just waited for it to stop moving. And, and they, they kept want. eating. <laughs> <laughs> they were just eating this fucking lobster. And it was a lot. Oh, <laughs> he ate monkey brains. He ate uh, puffer fish, which is not toxic if the, you clean it right. But honestly, I don't know. I mean, I've eaten some like weird things like frog legs, snails. Yeah. No. Um, I've eaten no. weird things like an beef, Oreo found beef, in my couch. Beef tongue? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. An which Oreo is poisonous no matter how you clean it. Ants. Right. An Oreo exactly. in my couch. Chocolate covered yeah. ants. Uh, <laughs> I've eaten a stale <laughs> Dorito. That's what I'm saying. Turtle? That's, yeah. Turtle soup? Rabbit. I, mean, I always have a turtle like in the where, morning. Where I'm from, we eat a lot of rabbit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, up, well, up in northern New Hampshire, you get a lot of rabbit, too. Have, have you ever had Scrapple? Scrapple. I played Scrapple a few Made times. from the best stuff on earth, isn't Scrapple? <laughs> 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 just, don't, just don't look it up. <laughs> like, don't look up the ingredients. What is Scrapple? Just eat it. Well, it's everything that's left of... So it's pig, like chop suey. I guess. Oh. No, 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 no. It's all the leftovers right. after From a pig? I don't give a shit. I eat hot dogs. Yeah. Isn't that Scrapple? No. In a tube? Scrapple. No. Oh. What is Scrapple? What like is an actual... What is in an actual hot dog? I hear people saying it's bad. What is in it? <laughs> what is it? What do you it? mean it's not... It, it, it's what not is in bad. It? It's just the, I'm sure, the like, leftover cuts. I'm sure intestines and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's the leftover scrap meat. Okay. Right. Uh, from after they butchered it, okay, and make come up with the chops and the roasts and all of that. But when you get the good ones like hummels and stuff, is that still the scraps of the yeah. meat? Yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. That, that's what. The, where do you think the meat comes from? They're not going to take prime uh, meat and turn it into a hot dog. So they why does hummels taste so good? They have additives. Uh, yeah, like okay. garlic and stuff. No. Yeah, sometimes no. you put cheese in them. <laughs> no. 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 They, they use tasty preservatives yeah. instead of cheap preservatives. Well, Hummels, I'll eat those all day. Okay. Uh, There's a the place called Blackies that makes Hummels like crazy. for good. The fact that a hot dog's quality is dependent on what kind of chemicals are in it is fucking insane. Yeah. It's just, why aren't all of them the best? Because you can't be the best. 
So you sound like my mom. They charge a lot more You're for welcome. a hummel. <laughs> it's the same reason why fucking Domino's and Pizza Hut still have a good business in New Haven. Who's eating that shit in New Haven? Like Papa John's. Why are those people still in business in oh New Haven? Gosh, because of the price. Because don't of the price. It's just cheaper? It's cheaper. Mm. <sighs> oh. Yeah, but they're, they're making millions oh. in New Haven when you're just... That's uh, true. I mean, really? Dude, if everybody in New Haven made good, smart choices, is that the... And you have the for that city? No, but no, no. you know what? You have the Papa John's over here next to the Popeyes, and mm-hmm. then around the corner you have the next next to Toads is the uh, oh um York, York side yeah York side. Why not? Ugh, I don't I don't get it. I don't understand why those chains. I can see those chains being busy in like a Middlebury or like a Litchfield mm-hmm. or where where you can't really get good pizza. Yeah. But what New are you Haven? Wait a second. What are you going to pay for a pizza at one of the places that you're talking about, the good pizza places? Ah, well, you're going to spend what are you 20 gonna, bucks. Right. Yeah. What are you going to pay at a Domino's or you got Pizza Hut? You got $5 pie. Well, nine, yeah. $9. Well, $9. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you gets what you pays for, <laughs> okay. but some people can't pay for the $20 pie. Little That's Caesars. True. Yeah, Little Caesars. You know what? If I'm going to eat fast food pizza, it's definitely with little, little, little Caesars. They never have had the, it. I like never it. Had it? Never dish. even it's had it. It's not bad. Their deep dish no, is, is decent. It's really it's not terrible. bad. It's you know, you know, who has got good pizza out of the oven though. Is Cumberland Farms? Do they really? I swear or? to God, they That's do. They're opening right. at Cumberland Farms right near where I live, like less than a mile. I swear to God, yeah. out of the oven, and even like an hour after the oven, it's still good. Like today, I went to a pizza place, a normal pizza place, and got slices. They're not good. Mm. Uh, they weren't good. Like I'm sick. I was. I haven't eaten since. Well, it wasn't fresh. No. And yeah. If a pizza place sells garlic knots and wings, it's not good pizza. Just don't go. Oh, yeah. Because they're making up for the pizza. Yeah. I think in other ways. Something uh, interesting about uh, the pizza that, I mean, why someone would get something like Frank Pepe's or Domino's. Right. Domino's walks a weird line between thin and thick pizza. It's like got a little bit of substance to it. It's almost a half inch raised. It's not like... A quarter inch real true thin crust pizza, but it's not like a full inch. Well, Are you guys on board for this? Yeah, 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 yeah. We lost Boo. I was just going to Oh, okay. We lost Boo when we were talking about pizza? I know. Weird. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, Domino's also has a deep dish, but that's terrible. I don't even. I went oh, to Chicago and had some deep dish, and I was like, ooh. Yeah, Bob's oh. into that deep dish. I love the deep dish pieces. Well,. Spe- well where do you get good deep dish? Uh, there's a place out there called Annie's. Where? Uh, Chicago. Actually, there's one I in mean, Manchester like called Chicago <laughs> Sam's. They got good deep dish. And, uh, I mean, but the best deep dish is a stuffed deep dish. It's like eating someone's like, ass. Like stuffed cheese. <laughs> what? Deep like dish with pizza. Cheese? No, they, they put uh, pepperoni, mushrooms, yeah. cheese what? inside. Ma- and yeah. the whole You pizza. know what's even worse is when you stuff a crust. Oh, I love a stuffed uh, crust. You do? I love a garlicky crust. I love it stuffed. No. I want my crust like a fat Italian woman. <laughs> With cheese in it. Cheese covered in garlic. <laughs> Hardworking. Uh, brown. <laughs> moles on her chin. Mm, hairy. <laughs> oh, hair growing out of the moles. Yeah, yeah no. I, no, I just like... Uh, I like <laughs> everything. Why not? I mean, the croissant sandwich sounds gross. Uh, oh, by the way, I'm, a... I'm mad at Dunkin' Donuts. They got rid of the fucking uh, burrito. They did what? They got rid of their sausage burrito. It was so good. Good. It was probably garbage. No, it was good. I didn't know that they had that. Yeah. I didn't either. Now you got to get the steak, egg, and cheese bagel. They're good now. Oh. I, I didn't. I was against uh, food from Dunkin' Donuts, but then I like, you tried I had, it. I had no choice. Uh-huh. <laughs> and you liked it. And it's not bad. Yeah. It's okay. Their burrito was good. Their burrito was actually really good. But mm. then they got rid of it. Limit. I hate when they do something a limited time and it's the best thing they've had in years. Yeah. Like McDonald's one time, a couple of years ago, they had a Philly steak. They did? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it was yeah. so good. Yeah, and they, they got rid of it. Yeah. And but they they br- brought they're going to bring it back. I hope so because it's like the Shamrock Shake. I just can't Okay, wait. that's my life. The no. shamrock? Yes. My birthday. And With then... fries stuck in a straw? Yes. <laughs> yeah, see? That's the only way. You put you put fries in your straw? No, I just put the whole entire fry in the shake. In the shake? Yeah. I do that with Wendy's chili. 
It's good. Oh, I thought you were going to say Wendy's Frosties in the fry. No, Wendy's chili. <laughs> oh, the Wendy's Frosties Dude, in the fry. I eat everything. Oh, yeah, I'll take chicken nuggets and eat it like it's Nutella and apples. But really? It's like chicken nugget and Frosty. Frosties are yeah. so good. I'm waiting for when you go to Dairy Queen. You know, they're supposed to offer you the blizzard. And then my, my little they're brother, supposed to bring it upside down and then hand it to you. My little brother works at Dairy Queen. Does he? Yeah. There's, now their thing is, if it's so thick, they're supposed to go like this. Yeah, they do that. They, and then hand it to yeah, you. They, I'm waiting for it to fall out one day. I hope it does. Oh, I should do. <laughs> but I got a banana split the other day. Like the well, then you want to go on a day when it's 100 degrees. I know. Right, exactly. In Bridgeport when, when Laquita's yeah, yeah, mad at her boss. Yeah, yeah. Fuck y'all, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's where you want to go. Uh, I, I, I never understood like the, uh, the – we still have a Carvel on Milford. Yeah. The one that you walk up to. You can't go inside. Oh, don't, don't you have a Carvel near yeah. your house? You Naugatuck. Live in Milford? Naugatuck, 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 too. Oh, you live in Naugatuck? Naugatuck. Yeah. yeah. New Haven Road? And in Isn't it connected to G's? Yeah. 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 I grew up in Naugatuck. It's where Walmart yeah. Not is. Not in that area, though. Not in that area. I think. Right. Across the street used to be Peter and Paul. We used to climb the dumpster and eat all the candy. <laughs> <laughs> you know that big parking lot now? Yep. That they might make uh, tractor supply? Yep. That used to be Peter and Paul. Really? From the plaza... Oh, yeah. All the way up into yeah, the car right. wash. They right, see yeah. Peter and Paul, they knocked it down. And they'd take all their rejects and they'd throw it in, in the dumpster. dumpster. And, we would eat and it. They'd watch, then they'd sit in there and watch the kids eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up in Arkansas my whole life. I, was, I just moved out of there last year. 47 years. Well, I was in Florida for 10, but Arkansas fun. You live near New Haven Road or no? No, I live on the Prospect side. It's Prospect. That's where, that's where, that's where, you, that's where, that's where our studio was. That's where your house was. was. Yeah. yeah. We were on Prospect Street. Oh, up by Union yeah. City Road. Wow. Yeah, about a ha- about uh, three quarters. That's from there. Yeah. <laughs> that was his next door neighbor. That was a neighbor. We were right in the industrial park when we were just there. So. Wow. Oh, the industrial park? Yeah, we were oh, at the first cool. entrance. That's, that's cool. where our studio was. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. We were down in the basement. Yeah. We did a lot of things in the basement. Andrew. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I remember. <laughs> trying not to, though. We taped them to the pole. You're trying to block it from <laughs> Yeah, memory. trying to stop those <laughs> memories from coming. Don't, coming get, don't get triggered now. We're going to take don't, a little break. Don't get triggered now. <laughs> and we'll be back with some more Audrey Elaine Campbell. Just have a full blown, like, flashback. What it's like to be the bad man, to be the sad man behind blue eyes, and no one knows what it's like to be hated, to be faded, to telling only lies. But my dreams, they aren't as empty as my conscience seems to be. I have hours, only lonely. My love is vengeance, let's never Blame you. No one bites back his heart on their anger. None of my pain and woe can show through. But my dreams, they aren't as empty as my. Oh, yeah. 
like to be mistreated, to be defeated, behind blue eyes, and no one knows how to say that they're sorry, and don't worry, I'm not telling
took one look at the kitchen, had a short beer and left. <laughs> it's terrible. It was filthy. All right, 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 all right. Are we back on? Yeah, we're back. We've been back on. Oh, shit. Put your headphones back on. <laughs> you always got a red face. What's that from? Is it because you're Irish or is it because you're uh, always hot? Caffeine, a lot of the time, will caffeine. bring the blood. Because uh, that's what it does when you're, like, you know, you've been on it for a while. I Looked it up. The five-hour energy shots made me. Oh, you do those? It. No, I mean right now I've. Uh, what have I had? I've had like three coffees at work. I had a espresso double right before I came here, and uh, now I'm drinking this. So, what's that? Uh, you guys hear that? Like yeah, that's Boo's computer that? trying to boot up. Oh, okay. Um. No, you need to share your screen, friend. I am sharing it. It's sharing my camera. You need to learn how to share. Uh. I'm sharing it. Sharing is caring. Let me turn it on and off again. Screen sharing off. Screen sharing on. There it is. There it is. There it is. Okay, there it is. Oops. We still can't see you, but that's okay. All right. Yes. You're going to do a song? Sure. Sure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> What are your dreams of your music? Um, Matt making it big and leaving? Or? Not me. <laughs> he wants to. <laughs> <laughs> um, we love Matt. We do. Um, no, we do. Oh, I don't. I don't. Right. Okay. No, no, no. Do you? <laughs> As a person, yeah. definitely. Good. He's a good person. You're okay with that, right? Yeah. yeah. This is a weird No, she setup, can't man. think other people are good. They used to date. But it was like a that. very long time I don't ago. Like though. Me <laughs> I'm, I'm, I can't, man. I, I give you both props because I can't. I would beat somebody up. Really? Yeah. No. Why? I can't hang out with Ricky's ex-boyfriend. We're both good. But guys, why? So what do you mean? Why? They used to bang. Yeah. No, so there was Neither. semen in people's bodies that you didn't want to hear about. But that's not happening anymore. No. It's over. Well, these guys never had sex, so thank God. <laughs> well. No. But even if God, I can't, I can't, can't do it. No, okay. I can't. Don't ask me. No. Okay, Bob. Are you triggered? Do you touch <laughs> wet food in the sink? Yes. What? Do you how touch you, wet does, food in the sink? How does it get oh out of the God. sink? How does it get out of the sink? I do not touch wet food. I'll, I'll wash it down the drain if I have to. I will not touch wet food. clog your drain up. I don't yeah, care. Okay. I'd rather worry about that later than touching wet food. I don't like ketchup on my hands. <laughs> who, who does, though? Do you I don't like one? the smell of condiments on my hand. It's gross. I don't like ketchup. You don't like ketchup? Get out of my room. I don't. Who doesn't like ketchup? I don't know. I You. I love ketchup. On your hands. Just not on my hands. But I can't picture you know my wife having someone else's load on her. I can't. Right. It's gross. I, I like how these okay. are all in the gross. same We're corner of your mind. Because <laughs> yeah. I like <laughs> food and I like my wife. Of course. Yeah. Do you hate other people that eat hot dogs? No. I oh, love okay. hot dogs. Yeah. Get me wrong. We haven't really heard from the current boyfriend. He's quiet. He's very, very quiet. <laughs> I, which means that he's seething with that's, rage. That's <laughs> Tyler. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Tyler's going to beat somebody yeah. up one day. Tell him why you're mad. Me? No, I think he's going to attack. We can't hear you. What? <laughs> what is he calling, Matt? It's the first word you said the whole night. I don't know. What did he say? I have no idea. Oh, my God. Is I said word? you're great. I can't really, I can't really like, like, bring the mic closer. <laughs> you're definitely. Hey, but tell fucking Bob to stop messaging us. <laughs> Annoying. <laughs> Which Bob? I'm going to kick him out of the room in Not about two me. minutes. Uh -oh. <laughs> creepy Bob. Very creepy Bob. Oh, Jimmy, do so it now? I want to hear from the, no? oh, from the right. new boyfriend. I mean... What would you like to know? Like how, to know? How, how, how do you do it, in fact? Are, 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 well, here's a better question. Uh -huh. Are you and the old boyfriend friends? Yeah. Am I... Well, oh, me and Matt? Yeah. yeah. He has yeah, no choice. Yes. Otherwise, he loses her. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're cool. Yeah, we're cool. <laughs> They're both really quiet, wow. right? She's the dominant character yeah. in the relationship. I, I'm, th I'm, th I'm thinking there's something going on, like deep, dark, underlying. 
What are you trying to tell me? I don't know, man. <laughs> Maybe they're sleeping with each other. <laughs> oh, no, he's, he's with me all the time, though. It doesn't matter. There's, you go to school, you go to bed, right? Matt's quiet. You work, we know don't he you? Can sneak. Yeah. All right, so they can keep be quiet together. I swear to or God. Matt's like, first of all, <laughs> I'm not Peter gay. Peter does this all the time. <laughs> I swear to God, Matt. I swear to God, if I find you in my bed again. <laughs> <laughs> or it could be that clearly Audrey has a type. Yeah. Yeah, because Matt no, no, no. and Tyler look very similar. They do not even. Yeah, well, they're both they're both very quiet. Well, they're, I mean, they're quiet, exactly. but. How many words between similar. them have they spoken all night long? Ten. One. I can I count to ten exactly. Well, Tyler, he's more exactly. of an observer. He doesn't really. Tyler didn't even want to come in the studio, but no. we had to drag him up here. No, he was <laughs> eating. I was eating. Oh, he was eating. Yeah. What were you eating? Uh, Taco Bell. Of Taco course Bell. you were. <laughs> <laughs> of course you were. He's, you, you you hear them both. They're not very confident in the way they speak. So we Taco have to Bell. break him out of that well, shell. Yeah. <laughs> See? <laughs> and, that, and that doesn't necessarily mean... That, that's not a bad thing. Everybody has a type. I mean, she just likes the quiet type. That's... Because she's well, very dominant. Well, well, no, no, but, no, but, no, but, time. Does she wear leather stuff and beat you with whips and oh stuff? Oh, my no, God, no. Matt. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, no, I like how, oh, my God, Matt, and I was talking about whips. And, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't even listening. Oh. No, but, like, he, Tyler... Is not quiet, but when he's around people, he just gets really shy. So you have to until he gets to know us more, right? Exactly. So maybe the next time, oh, we the, have you the, on the, the show, and he, he comes along, right. he might open up a little more. Oh, he would be, he would be definitely talkative. Does I'm Tyler quiet. smoke a lot of weed? No, oh. no. But Matt, all? Matt, nope. there's no hope for him. We're Does Matt get smoke a lot of weed? Oh, We're gonna get maybe two words sometimes. a night out of Matt. Matt smokes a lot of pot. <laughs> <laughs> that's your problem. No, that's not a problem. Ask you s- what? No. Is it a no. Oh my god, no. Okay, good for you. Plus, yeah, no. I have asthma and I was born premature, so I can't do anything. How about acid? Really do you do acid, no. Matt? Not, uh, uh, do you do uh, heroin? E? No. Just weed. Think. Have you ever done angel E? Dust. No. Angel dust. Do you do angel dust? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I see Who needs I, angel okay, dust? Wait, wait a second. I see Matt on a Sunday morning with a huge blunt and a coffee but, but in his robe. But here's the thing, though. <laughs> right, yeah. There you go. <laughs> you guys asked him all these different drugs, right? His eyes were shifty. His <laughs> eyes were shifty. So you don't know. I, I don't even know. I think he likes Coke. <laughs> Possibly once in a while, but the weed. <laughs> no, I guess. What? If he were on coke, he would be talking a mile a minute. No, right. no, 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 no. Oh, People yeah. have opposite effects. Like when I'm on coke, I. Um, so you know from experience. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, oh yeah. I'm just clarifying. When I'm on weed, I'm paranoid. When I'm on coke, I'm normal. Really? So whatever Matt's whatever Matt's um, behavior is <laughs> sober, he's opposite <laughs> on coke. So he's really quiet now. So he would talk your fucking ear off, yes, on coke. <laughs> and that's what I just said, Peter. I know. <laughs> that's what, yeah. I know. I was just trying to make it sound different. I didn't want to hurt Matt's feelings. Didn't. So I would didn't. be like Bob on. You wouldn't shut the fuck up. You would be the other Bob. <laughs> the other you Bob. would be creepy, Bob, on, on coke. Ooh, creepy. You, you would be putting your hand down Iris's pants. She's welcome. Now, watch it. You're setting, you're setting expectations for Saturday night. For Iris. <laughs> oh, no, for oh wait, wait, wait. wait for boom, boom. We have a pool for Uncle Bob to die, right? Yeah. So, what's yeah. the pool for Iris and Bob to bang? Two, uh, two dates? Or the first uh, one? Uh, Not me. Come on, you're the psychic. <laughs> that, that has to be. That's really Iris's call. I no, no, no. I'm, sure I'm, I'm doing a pull, and I'm saying the second date. It sure is. <laughs> I'm saying that it takes a, a date, one date. You think that night? Really? You think Saturday night they're banging? Yeah. <coughs> I, I, oh, I wanted okay. to say it too, but I, I wanted to be you know nice about it. But I think they're banging Saturday night. What do you mean be nice about it? It's not bad that people fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it is at my house. <laughs> <laughs> That's because the I'm pressure's on you. <laughs> I think they're banging Saturday because these two, that's all they keep talking about is Saturday's date. Which two? Iris and we have another host. He does a sports show. Oh. 
Not me. <coughs> not, well, not, not you. He comes to the sports I, show. He doesn't do a sports so show. Just so we're clarifying. <laughs> right, Bob? What? Okay. He comes to the sports show. Who they don't do who? a sports show. Bob. Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. They, they come to do a sports show and they don't tries. talk about sports. Yeah. He tries. He's the only one that tries. Yeah. The other two just pick on each other. But he, they're going <laughs> to bang. <laughs> they're going to bang on Saturday. I can guarantee it. <laughs> okay. Maybe they should bang at Andrew's show. Where is that show? <laughs> it is in uh, the at the Buttonwood Tree in Middletown, Connecticut, at tomorrow? 8 p.m. Yep, tomorrow, Thursday. Oh, the Middletown. 11th. Middletown. Maybe we'll drive by there after house hunting. Where is that? Like downtown? Uh, yeah, it's right on Main Street. By the like, head shop? Uh, yeah. The 911 smoke? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right across the street from it. Middletown's pretty cool. 911 smoke, <laughs> a.k.a. Wait, the how, hologram. How far away is that from here? Middletown? Yeah. You live minutes. where in New Haven? Mm-hmm. Probably not. 91, about 40 minutes. Okay. About 40 minutes. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah, because they got to go up 91 and then go up 66. I'm sorry. You come from that area. For me, it's Milford. like an hour yeah, solid. For you, it's an hour and a half. Yeah. yeah. For mm-hmm. me, it's an hour. For us, it's 40 from minutes. Stratford. Yeah, I you're in New Haven. Right. Wow. Up, uh, to 66. 66. Mm-hmm. Thought it was much closer to here. My Mm-mm. Oops. <laughs> no. You know what? It, it might be. Well, from if you here, GPS it, from, from here, here it's close, it would be yeah. 40 minutes. Mm. Yeah. And she lives in New Haven, so. Right because right, so. you just get on yeah, the Yeah, I live like 19 minutes away from here. <laughs> so there you're talking. So you I live closer to West Haven, then. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah she's. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So we might be Out near the Yale Bowl? No, East Haven. East Haven. You live near East Haven? You live, oh, you live near the bridge? The pretty bridge that does the pretty colors? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that's where you guys live better? East Haven. You oh, like okay. that bridge at night? Yeah, it's cool. That is cool. Right? They did a great did job. A really oh, the job. blue bridge? Yeah. yeah well, it's very sometimes nice. it's well, it red, white, and blue. Colors. I only <laughs> drive on it when it's blue. And if it's any other color, I turn around. Is that when you're, <laughs> 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 is that when you're driving home from the casino? <laughs> yeah, I'm driving home. I'm fucking $600 in the hole. What do you do? do? Like, you still going to comics or no? Yeah, I'm there uh, like uh, the 25th of June, I think. Is, is that still going calendar. strong up there? Well, every time we go there, we see the busy people on the outside of the doors. Oh, at the club? Well, the part where the bar is, yeah. Yeah, the bar is always flooded with people, usually because a show has either let out or is filling up to release into the showroom. He should go and do acoustic there because they have acoustic people. They do all the time out out in the bar area of the comics club. Yeah, uh-huh. you can. They can probably. You, you should call them. They have a house uh, band. Who's big up the there? Most. Who gets a lot of shows up there? They could probably comics help you. wise. Yeah. Or oh, Isn't I that mean, Darren. Darren who? Rivera. I don't know if he works there a lot, but Ryan Browth, the guy Ryan. that, uh, yeah, he um, books the club and he features there quite often. Yeah, so. you should see him try to get a gig in there, dude. Yeah, I don't know who books the the, the bar entertainment. Yeah, they area. do all acoustic people. That's it. Huh. You should try, too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Why not? You should try, too. You know what's nice about Mohegan is they have a lot of those free shows in the Wolf Den. Yeah. Right, they yep. do. They do. There's some big names that come right. through there, too. Like the other day they had um, Howard Jones, which is from my era. The Pesh Mode big. Mm-hmm. And we were just sitting there playing the slots. All of a sudden, we heard synthesizers. What, what the? <laughs> and it was free. It was free. So. Yeah, it's guys that That's are awesome. trying to come back. Yeah. Oh, definitely, it's people <laughs> yeah. that are starving. Yeah, it's people for, that are yeah. they're they're hungry for work. They're probably getting five hundred a night. Some people maybe, though, maybe a thousand. They get the, the lines like well, the other well, last time we were there. The line, the show was at. Nine o'clock at night, and the line started forming at one in the afternoon, and people sat in the what? line for eight hours to see whoever was coming up, and it was a country act. I'm like, what the fuck? Well, <laughs> why would you sit in a you, line you for gotta eight hours? Something. You got to realize you something. can play a slot machine and hear the same sound. That's true. But you got you got to realize something, okay? These guys that are quote trying to make the comeback. They've been performing for years and years and years. You would wait eight hours. They are, I wouldn't wait. No. I wouldn't wait forty-five minutes. No. Okay. I mean, which is like eight hours in Bob time. Yeah. I mean, I don't have that. Ki- I don't have that kind of. I don't have that kind of time to waste. No, what, you boo? Know? I'm sorry, Boo. Doesn't it depend upon? It doesn't it depend upon the artist? Not for me. I mean, <laughs> Boo, you know Howard Jones, right? You heard of Howard Jones? It could be John Lennon and Tupac, and he's now yeah. waiting more than half an Love, hour. Love, uh, you've heard of Howard Jones, right? He's big in the '80s. Yeah, I've yeah. heard of him. He has like eight or nine hit songs. <laughs> yeah, it was him and Krabs, big yeah. and <laughs> He was in the free stage. 
what I'm saying is there are certain artists actually that I would wait eight hours in line for Who? as long as I make as long as I was guaranteed a, a good seat. Yeah. I but would. here's the thing: you would wait eight hours if there was a closed uh, coliseum. But the thing is, it's called the Wolf Den, so there's no walls. All the only walls is the stage behind them. So they're on stage, and there's a wall behind them. But you can sit at a slot machine and hear the music clearly and see them. These people are sitting there waiting so they can see the people up close. It's like... The, they want to go in and get a free they seat. They want to guess. But you can sit at a, at a slot machine or you can sit at the bar and see the people as, as, as close as I can see Bob and hear the music the same way. So I don't understand why. They have an arena that sits 50,000 people. That's differently. But this Does is, it really see 50,000? Yeah. Crazy. I don't know. I, I, I guess it would depend upon who it was and how big of a fan I was. I would wait. For, I would wait eight hours for my favorite slot machine. I wouldn't wait eight hours for my favorite musician. I'm actually thinking of buying a ticket to see uh, Bob Dylan at. Uh, Mohegan? No, it's in uh, the Playhouse. Used to be. Uh, oh, I don't know. It's the theater in the round. Oh, the Meadows. What? It's called the Xfinity now. Whatever. Xfinity it is. Theater. Yeah. 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 It used to be like, the Meadows. He's going to be there. Uh, <laughs> Live Nation is doing. One week of every concert and, there for twenty bucks, and the, the cheap seats are seventy five dollars. They do it yeah. once a year. Bob Dylan and corn is going on sale for twenty bucks if you like corn. I love Bob Dylan. <laughs> but uh, big names, anybody big name is uh, that they do one week. Live Nation does one week of uh, twenty dollar tickets. Like they had took tickets for corn for twenty bucks, and that's huge because corn sells out for like three four hundred. So that was my, one of my son's favorite bands. Corn, corn, yeah. <laughs> But Xfinity is a great place to, to see it. But if you don't get there in time, like the lawn seats are fucking oh, terrible yeah. because you got I, all those people to stand in front of you. I've never, I've, I've never been to it since it's uh, uh, prior when it turned, stopped the round theater. Right. When it changed it used, names. When it, it used to have a, it, no, no, it changed names several times since then. Yeah. But it, the stage used to actually turn, and it went around in a circle. Really? Very slowly, yeah. This wow. was, uh, and uh, now I guess they've made it into a regular theater type of thing. Yeah, before it's that, still, it's still good sound, but it's you, if you don't get, if you don't get to where the seats are, now, where are they we play. Talking about the same place. You're talking about the XL Center, maybe. I had, This is not. It, <laughs> this is not outside, right? <laughs> no. You're no, talking about the XL Center then, in Hartford. No, you, no, oh. no. This is down here in like Middletown. And, oh. What's the middle town? Uh, <laughs> maybe, 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 no, uh, I don't know. Wallingford? Oh, the Oakdale. Oakdale. Yeah. Oh, oh, the Oakdale's yeah. different. The Oakdale. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, Dale. we were talking about Xfinity Center. No, no, no. no. <laughs> like, yeah, the Oakdale. Where, well, Oakdale is where Dylan's going to be. Oakdale oh, is a good, really? is a good I saw, venue. I saw Wait, um, Rain, the Beatles tribute band there. Yeah. It's phenomenal. We saw Biz Marquee there a couple of, like last year. When's Dylan? Oh, really? Uh, yeah. I, it's sometime in uh, uh, June, I think. Yeah, Bob Dylan's coming soon. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah? I only sucked it once and he paid me. <laughs> uh, I have a question about the Bismarck Key uh, concert. Um, Bismarck Key has at most three hits. It wasn't a concert. What it was was him DJing. And then he had an MC that was like, y'all remember this? And he wouldn't play the whole song. And then he did, at the end of it, he did his song. What a shitty show. It was very bad. That's disappointing. So disappointing. <laughs> yeah. I got free tickets, Boo, so that's why I went. Uh, you paid to go listen to the radio live? I got free tickets. Well, he was DJing, and he played, like, all the Depeche. Uh, but I'll tell you one show I got coming up in September is I'm going to fucking get goosebumps already talking about it. Depeche Mode is coming back to Mohegan up here. And Ricky got me tickets, so. For his Ooh. birthday. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? Congratulations. Depeche Mode up front? What? <laughs> Party in the back at the casino. That's like a double boing boing. That, that okay, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> that's like a double. <laughs> that's better. Yeah. Yes, yes. Mm. The Pesh Mode booth. Think about it. Live. Oh, I know. All right, know. all right. Easy, easy, easy. Let's not get excited about this now. No, no. Let Peter get excited. My Depeche <laughs> Mode to me was like, what is your favorite artist that you would ever love to see? Alive. Or dead? No, that you want to see. 
So it has to be alive. Okay. Um, no, on YouTube. Of course, lies. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. Like I, I said to my wife, I said, you know what? Could you imagine if Peter Gabriel and Sting ever became yeah, went we on did tour a show together? Went yeah, on I tour, did. and a year later they did. And I was like, I went to that. And I was like, oh. I was like Andrew, like twenty pounds you know, ago. Which, <laughs> oh, sorry. You know who I would want to see live? I boy George, see... a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I'd want to see uh, Madonna. And I know that that, and the reason why, actually, Madonna and Janet. I, Post Vogue or pre Vogue? All of it. Okay. All of it. Okay. I, just simply because she, she still puts on a hell of a show. She's still hot. Exactly. She's still hot. I'm sorry. She, Wait, which and one? Janet as well. <laughs> Only Both. because I've been fans of theirs since I was a kid. Yeah, but yeah. Janet was going to go on tour, but then she gave up her baby, right? Or she, she can't go on tour because well, of her baby. She, She's going back on tour beginning in September. She but she might she lose the baby time. because the husband yeah. said no. He don't want the baby on tour. Well, oh, maybe she's not well, going to be married anymore. Out. Well, she's getting yeah, a divorce. She's getting, yeah. a divorce. she's getting a divorce, but she's she wants to take the baby on tour, and her husband's like no. Oh, the husband doesn't. So have she has to, to make a decision. It. Well, no, no, husband has nothing to say about it. If it's if it's in a, if it's in an she's environment, she's in California. She's in California. Who knows where she is? Because she, well, she married Ackman now. She's <laughs> a billionaire. The fact of the matter is, the <laughs> husband won't have anything to say about it. I don't know. You can't really take a baby on tour and then Yeah, you can. Uh, it's not in the middle of divorce proceedings. No. <laughs> yeah, you can. Imagine trying to explain to that poor kid when he's older, <laughs> like, that the divorce wasn't his fault. <laughs> It's like well documented on the internet. Yeah, now it's that on this huge Twitter. dramatic thing. Yeah, yeah this is like the tour of the band broke up, the wife and husband. It's like, no, it wasn't your fault. It was uh, me and your father were just in. Oh, yeah, honey, you weren't trending when you were like five, five months old. I know. Sorry. Ugh. Let's do a song from you because we got to do okay. what we learned. It's already 10 after. Okay. So this going to be a cover. It's going to be a what? A cover. Okay, thanks. Um, Daddy Lessons by Beyonce. Daddy Listens? Daddy Lessons. Oh, like Daddy Issues? Lessons. Mm -hmm. No, Lessons. 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 <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like you didn't get enough hugs growing up? Or? I didn't. Oh, you didn't? No. What are you doing, man? But there's never enough hugs, right? Hugs. Right, you spoon? exactly. You need a big never spoon or a little spoon? Never, never enough, enough hugs. hugs. I, got this, I got a spoon. How about that? <laughs> what would he do? Would he cook heroin in there? <laughs> <laughs> you guys spoon, I hope, right? You want to turn the guitar up there, uh -huh. sir? Okay. Just gonna make sure I don't mess up the words here. In the beginning. <clears throat> I came into this world. Daddy's the toe girl. Daddy made a soldier out of me Daddy made me dance Daddy held my hand Daddy rocked his whiskey with his teeth And we rode motorcycles Blackjack, classic vinyl Tough girl is what I had to be he said, take care of your mother, watch out for your sister. That's when daddy looked at me with his gun and his head held high. He taught me not to cry. Oh, my daddy said, shoot. My daddy said, shoot. With his right hand on his rifle, he swore it on the Bible. Oh, my daddy said, my daddy said, shoot He held me in his arms He taught me to be strong He told me when he's gone, here's what to do When trouble comes to town And men like me come around Oh, my daddy said, shoot My daddy said, shoot Daddy made me fall.
fight It wasn't always right But he said, girl, it's your second amendment Daddy was no cool But daddy was a fool And right before he died, he said, remember Always a taker of your mother Watch out for your sister And that's when daddy looked at me With his gun and his head held high He taught me not to cry Oh, my daddy said, shoot My daddy said, shoot With his right hand on his right foot He swore it on the back Oh, my daddy said my daddy said, shoot He had me in his arms He taught me to be strong He told me when he's gone, here's what to do When trouble comes to town And then back me come around Oh, my daddy said, shoot My daddy said, shoot song better than Beyonce. I think Beyonce's really? ridiculous now. Well, thank you. She's an idiot. Yeah, I agree. She just totally changed her whole. She was so nice when she was when she was doing Boogaboo. Yeah. Now she's just so gangster. Now it's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. I, I hate it. I, I don't like the fact that she, her mother was involved in her music. I don't like the fact that she broke off. All right, she married Jay Z. I'm okay with that. But she wanted to be gangster. And like every song she makes now is just so fucking ridiculous. It's stupid. It, it's like there's no <clears throat> value in her lyrics anymore. There, well, there's no like originality at right, all. Right. Right. she's just she's like a, off her husband completely. She's a female R. Kelly. Yes, you're right. Is. You're right. Yeah. Uh, she's ridiculous. Right, Boo? Why are you making faces? Because I disagree with you wholeheartedly, and I'm not even a Beyonce fan or Stan, I should say. I'm not part of the Beehive, but. Quite frankly, up until Lemonade, I really was kind of meh on Beyonce. But it wasn't until Lemonade came out that I was like, okay, finally she's embracing something that <laughs> makes her relatable. That's all. Okay. Mm. I mean... You say tomato, I say tomato. Oh, my God. We don't have to agree about it, but I'm just oh, saying sh- that it wasn't until Lemonade that I was finally <laughs> able to... Do actually relate to her not only as a singer and an artist but as a black person well you know what i thought she was yeah. i think Anthony, i think she still is sexy as all hell but when her mother her was lyrics. managing her she was <clears throat> she was much better artist like when now that jay-z's got a, a, okay. his penis in her well i know <laughs> and you know what jay-z's one of the most influential hip-hop artists ever like He's he's like if he's not the best, he's up there in the top five. So and he's basically now counseling her and turning her into right. a hip hop artist right. instead he's of making a, her gangster. Well, one hip hop, well, hip hop artist. One of my favorite songs um, that Just she that she sings the- is um, "The Closer I Get to You" with Luther Vandross. Right. I love when she sings that, but. Now I just I don't uh, know. That's what happened to Mariah when know. she married fucking what's his name? Nick Cannon. Yes. Oh my gosh! Don't get me started. She was fine because, until because she had that amazing Christmas special, and then after that, done. Right. Yeah. Gone. And that's what happened to Whitney. Yep. They married these gangsters, and I don't know why. <laughs> well, Whitney loved the glass dick, okay. so I'm sorry. 
Exactly, and right. she was smoking, and she was sucking the glass stick a long time before she met Bobby. So let's not put that. Yeah, down. is the glass stick crack? <laughs> yes. Is that what the? Yes. Oh, okay, cool. I don't know. <laughs> I thought. I mean, there's glass <laughs> sexual toys. <laughs> wow. You are absolutely right. You are correct, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a lover, not a crack smoker. <laughs> so that's my realm of knowledge. Well, if you have any websites or anything, or um, where are you going to be? Well, you can follow me on Facebook at Audrey Campbell. Uh-huh. Um, and I have a YouTube channel, Audrey Campbell Music. And my next show is going to be at Cafe 9 um, in New Haven, June 22nd. Is that a Monday? No, it's a Thursday night. Thank God. Thursday. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Have you played there Everybody before? plays oh, there yeah. on Monday. Mm-hmm. I might go there like right after this to do a shitty open mic. Oh, Tonight? Yeah. Yeah, Tonight? they have it. That's Wednesday, yeah. <clears throat> really? You have comedians on Wednesday? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, once a month, I think. A great open mic, yeah. Dan Rice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then we want to make sure you get some time. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. uh, okay. Uh, any web- no websites or anything? Or Facebook? Facebook. Facebook. Is- Facebook, Twitter, Audrey Campbell Music. Okay. This is the part where you sell yourself. But okay. Yeah, I mean, right. she just did Facebook, Twitter, okay, okay. YouTube. Do you want oh. my personal cell? No, I'm just kidding. Wow. <laughs> I, I like I like talking to people. I like making friends. Except I, like, I don't have a lot of friends. But <laughs> it seems like you make friends with people that don't talk. That's true. You don't have a lot of friends. No, because <clears throat> I like I'm I'm not into the whole drama of things. So um, when things start going, yeah, but out, is it drama or is it just the way people express themselves? I never understood how people. A lot of the time, it's the same thing, and that means that that person is someone she doesn't want to deal with, in my opinion. Yeah, Please. but you know what? Everybody loves to sit down and hear a gossip story. Oh no, once co- in a no, while. completely. Don't get me okay. wrong. It makes me like appreciate my life and right. everything. But when when it just starts affecting the friendship, I'm just like, we're good. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna mm-hmm. distance myself now. So as soon as they start to become greasy, you just leave. Greasy. Mm-hmm. Greasy. Cover girl. Mm-hmm. Hip harp. Okay. Hip harp. Hip harp. Anyways, what'd you learn today? Anything? Um, that you guys are amazing people, and I would love to hang out with you guys more. Oh, we'll have you back for sure. Is that okay with you? That's okay. <laughs> as long as I'm invited. As long as you're invited? Wow. Oh, that was flexing the muscles. Always invited. Wow. Wow. Cat fight. <laughs> yeah, like a cougar cat fight. Because <laughs> I'm 47. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Matt, what did you there. learn? <laughs> Nothing. He doesn't learn. <laughs> no, you learned that a glass stick is a crack pipe, right? <laughs> yeah, I learned that. Okay. All right. And hip harp. Yeah, hip, hip harp. harp is big. Yep. He's not going to let it go. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I can live with that. Uncle Bob, what did you learn? Well, I learned again. Uh, as I did uh, back in January, that uh, Audrey has a fantastic voice. Well, thank you. Uh, and she likes to hang out with quiet guys. I do. <laughs> no drama. <laughs> they, and don't talk, they, they don't talk back either. Yeah. So I don't have to just like, we're just good. That's good. Yeah. Don't Thanks have to slap a life. And Andrew uh, keeps sitting there quietly, and then all of a sudden he snipes at you. And get you with a funny line. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Andrew, what'd you learn? I learned that. Uh, can I plug the show? Just yeah, one last that's time. That's why you're here. I yeah. know. Uh, tomorrow, 8 p.m. at the Buttonwood in Middletown. Uh, buy tickets online or at the door. Please go to that. And also, uh, what I learned today is. Um, what was that thing that I learned that you said you learned something new every day? What Breathing. Breathing? <laughs> How to charge a defibrillator? What? Oh, yeah. No. The, the, uh, wasn't, wasn't it the defibrillator on airplanes? It was the first no. place they had them? No. Okay. No, I didn't know that either, remember. but I don't give a shit about that. Yeah, I because don't Because I'm never going to. You, you got to remember something. I have CRS. Yeah, what's that? I can't remember shit. Ah, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. It's a song I wrote. <laughs> I can't remember shit. Oh, that's what I. Oh, okay. I learned that uh, okay. tarot card reading is legit. Yep. Yeah, so if you want to know something, um, just ask Boo and then just think of the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. 
I don't know. I think he was right about the house. You didn't get it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what did you learn? Anything else? Oh, you It wasn't Andrew. No? Bob? No. Bob, Bob. Bob. Bob already went? Yeah. You have CRS. I do. Yes. <laughs> I'm house hunting on the phone. I'm sorry. <laughs> would you learn anything? I learned a lot, yeah. Uh, like yeah. what? Be specific. Yeah, <laughs> wow. I was going. Oh, oh, and we wonder that. why we have no friends. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sit up straight. <laughs> Nasty. Look people in the eye. Wow. Okay. I think I might be getting CRS. That's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting something later. <laughs> <laughs> She's looking at you like, you're putting it, wow. Why? You're looking at him and he's really getting nervous. <laughs> it's like, what, what should I say? Like, no, it's it's not me. It's going to be the, it's the do dog. Do you guys live together? It's the yeah. dog. No, no, no. He's afraid to say, he doesn't look at you when he talks either. Watch. Watch. <laughs> watch. <laughs> like, there, he says, I learned a lot, but he hasn't said one thing. Hang on. Does she hit you? No, no. Is she abusive? No. You can talk to me. She's. No. Does she pull your hair? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> At the good times. The good times. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. What's funny about it? Making another human being hurt. He can't breathe when you're pulling his head down. Because he like makes a funny noise. <laughs> it's like, Screams. It, it's, a, it's a noise that I've never Screams heard in my life pain, before. Yeah. <laughs> what, what is he making this noise? He makes weird noises. It's just like we'll be in the car and he'll hear something and it's just. It's called it's, Tourette's. Right. You should get that checked out. <laughs> <laughs> she just went up. I love you, babe, but you're a fucking That's retard. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she does like quiet guys back yeah, in the day. That was know. just what they called autistic people. <laughs> That's yeah. not my joke. What did you buy for Christmas? Spinners? <laughs> 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 yeah, did you see his face light up when you showed that that house was lit next to the train trace? <laughs> yeah, you know? he's so excited. She's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Because no. it was the color red and green that was there, too. That's it? Yeah. Right, Iris, what you learn? I learned that Steve Robbins are edible. I didn't know that. And, Ricky, I hope you feel better. But I also learned that you don't like anybody using your headphones when you're not here. Uh-oh. Yeah, I thought we established that. Sorry. We didn't know that. I love those headphones, though. Not gonna lie. Everybody try them on. She's very territorial. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ricky. <laughs> she even wrote it on Facebook. <laughs> she did. She did. <laughs> Boo, what'd you learn? <laughs> those I are learned. my headphones. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. I learned that ball crabs Tastes great with hollandaise sauce. <laughs> okay. What? Wait, who said who said hollandaise sauce? He Did just made that, that up. No. Nah, he's just goofing. Oh. <laughs> no, he's watching the Food Network in the background. Oh. Put the mic. Put the mic near your mouth. Mic near your mouth. Yeah. Uh, no, I just can't stop thinking about how. I'm not supposed to judge people that eat ball crabs. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I'm so proud of that's, you. <laughs> uh, and that's it. Uh, I learned that Audrey would have been dating like half the people back in the 20s during the silent shows and movies. You're totally right. Yeah, I think yeah. you would have really enjoyed yeah. that era. Yeah. Because you like silent people. Completely. Yeah. Great talent, though. Thank Very, you. Great voice. I'm, I'm glad that you're young, right? I am. I'm 22. 20, 22? Mm-hmm. Oh, you're very young. You're I a baby. Am. I Jesus. Know. It's not my fault. God, I lived your life twice. <laughs> and then some. And then some. Ooh. I'm not talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> very good. I'm glad you came in. And Matt, Thank wow, you for man. Me. I don't know. Really quiet. Yes. <laughs> really quiet. If, if I read cards, you... I'd be reading you a glass of bleach and a bad movie on the same You should night. see him in a bar. It's he's bad. Nuts. Is he bad. Nuts? Well, yeah. He's quiet or he's scared? I'm quiet. He, well, you're awkward because you go up to the bartender and like I'm just an you look at guy. me and you're like, should I get a Budweiser? My should wife I is I the same that? way. She won't uh, order a drink. Like, he's the nicest guy ever. Just, just order your she drink. She won't order a drink. Like She gets mad. Like Order me a drink. No, no, no. <laughs> like... A couple weeks ago, I'm like, are you going to get... No. Uh, what's so hard about going to get a drink? 
I said, you know what? And I said, fuck it. You're going to get it because I'm not going to get it. And she wouldn't get it. She got mad at me before. She would get, it would, she would use all her energy to be mad at me instead of just walking up to get it. It's awkward people. I, I, I've never met people. You always look at me. Yeah. So should I get a Budweiser? Should I? What should I get? Yeah, you people need to fucking be in a room together and talk about it because that awkwardness has to go. Because if people like us die, what are you guys going to do? <laughs> Who's going to get you? Yeah, who's going to get you anything? <laughs> who's going to get you a beer? Yeah. No one. No one. See what I'm saying? I won't be here. Yeah. <laughs> He's just like my wife. He's hey. very awkward. <laughs> yeah, if we die, you guys are fucked, your people. You know what? That's the that's the Walking Dead right there, these guys. It's called yeah. the, it's called the Awkward Dead. Right. <laughs> awkward Dead. <laughs> awkward guys. <laughs> I didn't understand oh, it until I married it. What? I can, can I I'm sorry. I, I have a couple of plugs of my own. Go ahead. Plug it. Um, one, um, one is January 9th through the 11th. If you're in the Eureka Springs, Arkansas area, I will be at the Transformation Conference there. I will be doing live readings, uh, tarot card readings there from June 9th until the 11th. Um, also, if you are in the Oklahoma area, um, specifically the Hinton, Oklahoma area, um, on May 27th, I will be um, doing readings at the Sugar Creek Casino there. And cool. da, 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 da. Um, if you want to book your own reading, um, um, go to TravelingToRow.com and check out the rates and services page and book your appointment. And if you're in an Oklahoma area and you want a quickie, just go to Boo's House. That too. You must be well yeah. endowed, like three inches or more. There's, there's a, there is a minimum. Well endowed, <laughs> three inches. Okay. There is a minimum. Right? <laughs> three inches flaccid, three though. Inch flaccid, right? Yes, three inch flaccid minimum. Thank you. It must be this big to ride this ride. Wow. <laughs> Bob, <Is> it? <laughs> booze the old carny like helicopter ride. You push the bar forward and he goes up. <laughs> remember the helicopter ride? Do you remember? Yeah, I remember the helicopter ride at the carnival that's yeah. very popular in the early 2000s when I was a child. <laughs> you have yeah. a you have a scale on the on the door frame. Yeah, actually a ruler. <laughs> a ruler. Okay. A ruler. All right, everybody. Uh, don't forget, tune in tomorrow is uh, Grunge Thursday all the way up until Saturday morning, and then you have the uh, from the Vault Show. Um, uh, the electric tape. radio show it's uh, 10 to 12 and then you have mixtape saturday and then coming up june 10th is our first live mix after a year we're going to be broadcasting live from uh, seaside park so um too bad you weren't up here for that but you could have did some readings up at the beach but we're going to be doing a concert yeah. uh, concert series um in bridgeport all summer so if you want to stop by and uh hang out or whatever come by and check it out so uh go to the website Everybody, thank you for tuning in, and we will see you all next week. Um, who do we have next week? Hang on. I don't know offhand, so. Uh, next Tuesday, we oh, don't forget the, uh, the designated driver and all things sports also next week. Next Tuesday, we have Jeff. Oh, wait a minute. Jeff Peters and Lauren, Laura Jean. Uh, Laura Jean's back. Boo. Or uh, Bob. Yeah. And then you. Wednesday is Billy Foster and Schumann and Lacey Joy. We got three people next week. No, no, the Schumann, Billy Foster and the Schumann is a group. Oh, it's a group. Okay. Yeah. And Lacey. And then Lacey. All right. That's next week. We'll see you guys uh, during the week. And as we say to every show, everybody, stay black, y'all. Good night. Oh, good night. Good night. Bye, Thanks boo. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. <laughs> Where's the heartburn?